side of March Madness. Here's a look at the best.
We appreciate y'all being here. Hello, hello, hello. It is game day. We've never been we've been here one time in our history. And we're now here. And we play the team that we almost beat in the Maui Classic in the first round. Second round, actually. And uh, kind of started our season off here on the channel with the Purdue Boilermakers against the Tennessee Volunteers. And we get a rematch here today. So I hope you guys are ready for a great game. What's up, everybody? Appreciate everybody being here. Thank you, Simon. Cotton, what's up, Jack? What's up, Richard? Daniel McKean, what's going on? Hello, everybody. What's up, S. Smith? Yes, sir. What's up? How you doing? And uh, we want to thank the NCAA for uh, helping us out today on the early start. So uh, appreciate everybody being here. Thank you so much for all the love. Pierce, what's up, too, as well? So we'll see what happens here today on the channel. As uh, Could we go to our first ever, very first ever Final Four? Uh, I, I can't remember. Did we get to make the Final Four that last time? I don't, I don't think we did. But, uh, man, oh, man. What's up, Triton? What's going on? Big day here on the channel. Hope everybody tunes in here with us. Today we're going to be bringing the live audio of the game. And uh, let me fix my Purdue here. And this is a fan-friendly chat. So if you're a Purdue fan and you're cheering them on today, make sure you're cheering on those Purdue bullet makers as well in the chat. Uh, this is a Tennessee Volunteers channel, but we support everybody. Charlie, what's going on? Go Vols. Uh, should be an interesting game here today. Uh, if we can get past Edie and not let him dominate us, we should be all right on this game. But uh, the Volunteers are in the Elite Eight. I can't believe it. Congratulations to the Crimson Tide, Alabama, making it to the Final Four, UConn as well. And... Uh, We'll see what happens here uh, today. We got two games on the slate. You got Tennessee Volunteers versus Purdue here, starting about 19 minutes. We're going to be bringing all the coverage, y'all, all the fun. T Tennessee will be in orange today, with Purdue being the top seed in white. But 80 is going to be 27.2 points per game, 12.9 rebounds per game. The guy is unstoppable. Last time we played him. We lost by four points in the Maui Classic. And uh, even though we had uh, a dude and Awaka all fouled out, this is going to be probably one of the games of the games of the NCAA tournament. We thought the Alabama-North Carolina game was good. This game is going to be better. And you're going to bring it here live to you guys on the audio. So make sure you're hitting that like button for us and see if we can get over 100 likes today. And uh, Robert says, hey, folks, today's the day Tennessee's making history we're going to the Final Four, folks. And if that's the case, if we do make it to the Final Four, I won't be doing racing next Saturday. I'm watching history. Uh, we're going to be following the balls. And uh, we'll definitely do the national championship game on that following Monday as well. Uh, it's been Basketball has been a great ride for us this, this winter time in, the, in between our NASCAR and our baseball. And it really has carried our channel a lot. And... Uh, we have survived the bots. We have survived it all. And uh, we've still have gotten good views. We've gotten tons of subscribers. And uh, it's been an awesome time. Final four, baby. Go big orange. That's right, Richard. Little Jack picks, picks the volunteers. That means we're going to win. Kimberly says roll tide. Hey, wouldn't it be nice to see a all SEC? Hey, we do it in football. Can we do it again in basketball? All SEC basketball championship. Bama versus the Tide. I mean, Bama versus the Vols, round three. Of course, Tennessee beat them twice in the regular season. So, Roy says, let's go Vols. Yes, sir. Let's go Vols. So, uh, what's up, Chris? What's going on? Let's go to the Final Four, baby. Let's go beat Purdue. That's yes, sir. That's right. So, um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. Uh, we're going to have to be our on our A game as, as well. For this game, this should be interesting to watch. And uh, tonight, uh, four o'clock Central, North Carolina State versus Duke will be playing as well. And then tonight, we're supposed to do NASCAR. We'll see. There's rain on the way to Richmond, so I'm not sure if we'll get the NASCAR race in today or not. But uh, we're definitely here for this. Hope you guys enjoy it. We'll go to the next screen. I'll let you listen in to the CBS broadcast. Oh, well, they're going to commercial, so <laughs> we'll we'll wait on that. 
So the final four awaits. Two more teams, and we'll complete it. And then it's in Phoenix, I believe. Uh, how can we stop Zach Eady? I, it's going to be tough. Uh, now, during the Maui Classic, he was doing a lot of elbowing and a lot of this and a little of that. And like I said, a dude fouled out, a waka fouled out, trying to cover this guy. But uh, we'll see if we can stop him and try to intercept passes to him. That's probably going to be one of the keys. But um, I don't think we played our A game when we played. Uh, Dalton Connect wasn't really Dalton Connect in the Maui Classic. He was still just trying to figure it out in the SEC. So um, only one NASCAR emoji for tonight. No, Daniel, we'll, we'll change them up. Uh, tonight, as the uh, when that when that schedule scream comes up, I'll change them all back for tonight. So, but right now we're doing uh, two words: Dalton Connect. That's right. But he's got to be. He sh we've shown that he is not very. Uh, we've shown that he's not very good either. Uh, sometimes uh, he has off days, and that's when other guys are going to have to step up. Like a dude and Ziggler always step up. But the other two guys, we're not sure about Vescovy yet. I haven't seen Vescovy's uh, status for the game. But a lot of people are like, oh, we missed Vescovy. But really, I think we had a better, we played better without Vescovy. Uh, Meshack kind of stepped up the pain. Ganey kind of stepped up a little bit. We had a couple freshmen out there that they, they did some three point shots. So um, I don't think missing Vescovy was the key uh, against Crichton. So. Uh, maybe without Vascovy here this time, we'll see what happens. But keep on hitting that like button, y'all. We're trying to get to 50 likes. That'll be our goal, 50 likes. Hit us there. We'll see if we can get that halfway to 100 as you're coming in. And keep on hitting that subscribe as well as we are uh, trying to get to uh, 10,800. It's 10,800. Thank you for the subscribe. So 30 away from 10,800. And we're ready for some volunteer basketball. Uh, stick with us. Even if Tennessee loses today, uh, we'll be following the March Madness all the way through. We might, I don't know, we'll do, it, do the Final Four or not, but we will do the National Championship game. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, definitely stick with us in the fall. We're going to bring up some Tennessee Volunteers football on the channel and have a good time with that. We could do it a couple games last year. So let's go back to the live audio of the CBS broadcast. I've been around it, so just to have this moment with these guys, and we're not done yet. And Purdue steamrolls their way to the Elite Eight. To be on a team that's in the Elite Eight was bigger than me. I'll go to war with these guys every day. I'll give up anything to, you know, fight for them and do whatever's necessary to win. An incredible Easter Sunday showdown between Purdue and Tennessee. Well, Jonas Adu will have his hands full today with Purdue's Zach Eady, the Vols' big man, hoping to be a towering presence standing tall in today's matchup and living up to his self-imposed nickname, the Giraffe. Jonas Adu, he's our big seven-foot center, we call him the Giraffe. He plays a huge role, holds it down in the paint. My nickname is Giraffe, that can... From, I would say around sophomore year in high school, I kind of gave it to myself. Back then, I was definitely just very tall and very lanky. You know, very fitting nickname. He is, you know, the, the quiet giant in, in a sense. He embraces it. He has unlimited giraffes. You go to his house, I want to say there's probably seven giraffes there. I started getting, like, you know, giraffe posters, little giraffe toys and stuff like that. Have a little giraffe necklace, too. My mom gave me that for a uh, senior night. That's really the main thing, just little toys that I just carry around like they're my little sons. I met my first giraffe, i say, a few years back. I mean, it was great. It was three I didn't know you liked giraffes. Names, That's but, pretty know, cool. What's up, Mike? What's good, brother? What's good, brother? Uh, sir, if we can. Yeah. If the Knoxville Zoo named a giraffe after me, I wouldn't even know what to do with my stuff. I'd be so happy. I'd probably have to go to the zoo at least. Yes, sir, Charlie, you're right. See my little giraffe, Jonas, <laughs> at the zoo. That would be wonderful. Hopefully, they can make something happen with that. Who knew he liked giraffes? You, know, you don't often hear of a person uh, having unlimited giraffes, but uh, there he is. <laughs> he's got. Uh, he's got that. He's also got uh, Zach Eady on his uh, radar today. If if you're playing Zach Eady, Chuck, down low, what are you doing? I play behind him uh, because two things. Number one, he does a really good job of pinning you if you try to front him. But also, you're going to give him offensive rebound position. You play behind him, try to make him make tough shots. 
Because, you know, you have to make the same thing with Burns with NC State. You got to make a decision. I would not double him. I'm going to let him get 35, 40. You're talking about DJ or Zach? Either one. Okay. Because okay. I, I think when you, what, what, because I think what you do when you play, like, like a great player he played with, Akeem, you're like, dude, you get those other guys going. That's like NC State the other night. Once they got those other guys going, it was too late to change up your defense. So I would play Edie one-on-one, let him get his numbers, and cut the other guys down. Because if those guys start making shots... Crank up the Rocky really Top. That's right, Joshua. On the other end. What's We're up, Brody? We're talking awful lot about Zach Eady. Give me, a, give me something else. Give me, give me what you expect to see from Dalton Connect today. Dalton Connect, uh, if I'm Dalton Connect, I'm making Zach Eady play laterally, so I'm putting him in pick and rolls, and I'm going to call his big guy out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that late in the shot clock. I wouldn't do it at the start of the, of the of the play. We can run our sets and run our plays, but when it gets down to 15 seconds, I'm dull to connect. I'm grabbing the basketball. I'm caught in the guy who's guarding Zach Eady's guarded out. We're gonna pick and roll, and we're gonna make him move his feet. He Zach Eady fouled out Awaka and Adu last game, so they know they know what they're in for right here. But I also like Braden Smith in this game against Zakai Ziegler. Those two are great point guards, yeah. and and I think that matchup's going to be really big in this game. There are a number of really good matchups, and that's one I highlighted too. You know, Smith has 31 assists and just five turnovers. He's an excellent rebounding guard. Fletcher Lawyer is excellent as a perimeter shooter. The confidence of those two backcourt guys helps Purdue get to Phoenix. One word, who you got? Purdue. 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 Oh. Well, I got Tennessee going to the Final Four in my bracket, so I'm going to have to stick Atta with boy. that, Paul. <laughs> Unlike your bracket, Chuckster. Uh, that's all for <laughs> us on the road to the Final Four. Take a quick timeout. We'll get you out to Detroit. Tennessee or Purdue going to join Alabama and UConn in the Final Four. It's going to be good stuff, y'all. So, our back's against the wall. Everybody is picking Purdue, y'all. Everybody is. They don't give us a shot. So let's shock the world today, y'all. And let's give it a go. And let's go on. Billy Scott, what's going on? Joshua says, let's crank the Rocky Top up. Ready to have some fun. I can't wait, y'all. It's going to be a good time. But uh, what a matchup this is going to be. We're going to bring you the live audio of the CBS broadcast. We'll go to the other screen when it changes. And uh, we'll bring the audio back in here in just a second. A minute and 11 seconds back till the... Audio will be coming in. Hit that like button for us. Let's get over 100 likes. Hit the subscribe for Tennessee Sports. If you like your, what you're seeing here today, make sure you subscribe to us. We can do other things than just basketball here on the channel. We do Atlanta Braves baseball. We do NASCAR. We're doing a NASCAR stream later on tonight. Hopefully we get it in. Uh, we're doing NHL hockey. The NHL playoffs are coming. Hopefully my Preds make it. Uh, we do some travel stuff, some Disney stuff. A whole bunch of fun here on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. We would love for you to be one of our part of our community today. So thank you so much, guys. In you emojis, that's the way we like it. That's right, Richard. We like our backs against the wall. So that's what we're going to do. Um, if you are a member, we have emojis for you guys tonight. We have tons of emojis. We have some Purdue emojis as well. And here are your emojis for the volunteers and the Purdue today, Boilermakers. We have some Purdue stuff as well. So there is that. And then also, big Braves fan, big Denny Hamlin fan. So here is all our emojis for you members. How about them Braves? That's right, they play today. They're blowing them out, the Phillies. That's another like we like about it too. So, all right, so let's go, let's go to the... It's going to look all congratulated, but... Uh, this is not what it's going to look like or later on today, but as soon as it gets going, we'll have it all together here for you guys. So hope everybody has a good time. Um, it's all looking messed up right now, but it will look great come as uh, soon as it starts up. So hope everybody's having fun. <clears throat> How about them Braves? Yeah, Billy Scott, what about them Braves? And what's up with Dodger Stadium being so empty? What's up with Dodger Stadium being so empty? Hmm. <clears throat> Keep hitting that subscribe, y'all. Keep hitting that like button. And we've got 64 in here. See if we can get a huge crowd in here tonight. We've had some huge, huge uh, basketball streams. The tennis, the Alabama-North Carolina game had over 900 folks in it. Uh, really fun. Really fun. All right, here we go. For just the second time ever, Tennessee is going to the Elite Eight. 
for Tennessee basketball history, being the first team to ever do it. It would mean the absolute world to see how all of our hard work pay off. An incredible Easter Sunday showdown between Purdue and Tennessee. It is a beautiful day in Detroit, Michigan, and what a matchup for the Midwest Regional Final between Tennessee and Purdue. One of these two teams will join UConn and Alabama in the Final Four with Duke NC State coming up later today on CBS. Hi, everyone. Happy Easter with former Villanova head coach Steve Lapis. I'm Andrew Catalan. Evan Washburn will join us as well. And our associate director, Ade Ellis, did a phenomenal job putting together that opening tease. He set the stage for what will be a historic day for one of these two No seeds. doubt about it. But the crazy thing is the one and two seeds have not met in a regional final in five years. That is unbelievable. But it's going to be a historic day for one of these programs. Purdue hasn't been to a Final Four since 1980. Tennessee has never been there. Something's got to give today. So many great storylines in this one. And the big man in the middle is at the center of it, Zach Eady. The leading scorer in the country, the second leading rebounder in the country. He averages five offensive rebounds a game by himself. A tremendous touchdown low. He can score in a multitude of ways with both hands. He's obviously a tough cover, but they love to pick and roll. You will see Braden Smith and Zach Eady pick and roll a lot in this game. He can go to the basket and dunk it, but Braden Smith reads that pick and roll so well, he knows when to pull up for that three-point shot. If you've watched Tennessee this year, you know their defense is elite. What is it about the Vols that makes them so tough? They pressure the ball. They look to force turnovers. In that first game they played in Maui against Purdue, they forced 16 turnovers. And it has to do a lot with Zakai Ziegler, number five. Sub the JT, SEC go Braves. Player of the year. And the amount of pressure he puts on the ball, he forces Creighton here to take a shot that they really, really did not want to take, especially in that situation there. But you look at, when you look at the big man take a three, that's what they wanted him to do. But Dalton Connect, this guy came from Northern Colorado. He was the SEC player of the year. He can score, as you can see with the numbers, but yesterday he also had no turnovers. He's also tremendous in transition. One of these teams is 40 minutes from history. Tip off next on CBS. What's the All right. One of these teams, both of these teams have never made the Final Four before. So. One somebody's going to be disappointed. It's been a heck of a season for both teams. Uh, Tennessee should have been a number one seed as well, but uh, we kind of collapsed against Kentucky, and then we lost in our first round of our SEC tournament. But uh, ever since then, it's been an amazing ride here in the NCAA tournament, and uh, we've covered every game except the two Tennessee two the four first games of the season and the two Kentucky games. We've brought you every other game, ex and also, i sorry, the Texas game. We lost, to, I didn't do the Texas game. I was actually on campus, because uh, my daughter is going to University of Tennessee next year. So uh, we were on campus for Nuval Day, and I missed the game. But hey, to be on campus during that time was awesome. So um, keep on hitting that like button. Over 72 of us here. Keep on hitting that like button. Let's see if we can get the 50 likes really quick, and then we'll... Make our eye for 100. Hit that like button for us. We're only at 20, so come on, y'all. Help us out with that. The more you hit the like, the more subscribes, the more commenting in the chat, the more people will come in here and we'll have a good old time. Uh, but uh, if you see any bots out there, make sure you report those guys. I've done my job, so let's see what happens. But uh, let's take a look at uh, the starting Point getters here. Dalton Connect, 21.2 points per game. A Dude, 7.5 rebounds per game. Ziegler, 6 assists per game. It's one thing about Tennessee is we share the rock here. We share the rock all over the all over the court. And then our biggest threat today is going to be Edie. If we can shut Edie down, you might as well let us go to the Final Four. But last time we played, we faced the Bullamakers. We lost in the Maui Classic by four. A Dude and Awaka got fouled out. The referees were not calling any fouls on Edie, so we'll see what happens today. Edie, 24.86 points per game. He's also their top rebounder of 12.1 per game. And then Smith, 7.5 assists per game. And here is the route for the Tennessee Volunteers in the NCAA tournament. The, the Vols took down St. Peter's, 83-49. Then they took down Texas, 62-56, and then beat Crichton, 
the other day uh, on Friday, 82-75. Purdue's uh, through the tournament. They beat Grambling 79-50. They beat Utah State 106-67. And they beat Gonzaga 80-68. So let's go. Here we go. Sponsored by Modelo, the mark of a fighter. Hey, CJ, open. what's going on? You really can't pick. It's hard, right? Progressive. Bundle if you're a big orange fan, insane. let me see. Go big orange. England. If you're a Purdue fan, we have redeems Four. for you as well. Exclamation Field point, Ford redeem Brown. Purdue. And then exclamation point, redeem go Vols go. Go Vols. Moments Smoky all those. Heavyweight fight in Detroit between Tennessee and Purdue. And for more on one of the fascinating matchups in this game, we send it over to Evan Washburn. Absolutely. Andrew, always good to be with you guys. As much as the headliners are connecting, Edie, the matchup to watch in this game will be at the point guard position. Zakai Ziegler and Braden Smith, both undersized and defined by doubt, and they relish this matchup. Talking to Braden Smith, he says, I love going up against the best. I exactly, take these games personally, and it helps me. As for Sakai, he's looking at another crack at Purdue and Braden Smith. The first meeting earlier this year, he was coming off injury, so he wasn't at his best. And when we asked him about Smith and Purdue yesterday, he was all business, dead pan, saying, I'm for real, and we'll see tomorrow. And, boys, we get a chance to see here. It's going to be fun. Yeah, he was all business yesterday when he sat with our crew as we take a look at the starting lineups. And Santiago Vescovi, who did not play in the Sweet 16 for Tennessee because of the flu, is not in the starting lineup. But Rick Ward said he is available today. Once again, it'll be Jemai Meshack in the starting lineup. And Purdue has had the same starting five every game this year. Rick Barnes, his 37th year as a head coach, trying to get to the final four for just the second time and his first time. At Tennessee, Tennessee, all in orange. Painter, Tennessee volunteers on their chest. With the Boilermakers, Boilermakers all in white, gold and black on trim. And you know Purdue what on their to, chest. Andrew, how hard it is to get to a Final Four. Imagine that Tennessee has never been there with all the teams that they've had, and Purdue hasn't Tip been there off. since 1980. About to it's happen. a very difficult thing to accomplish, and one of them is going to do it today. What a crew we have. Ron Groover is 14th NCAA tournament. Here we go. Have fun. Let's go Vols. Let's go to the Final Four, baby. Tip off right now. Marquise Pettigrew is 9th NCAA tournament. Tip off one by the Vols. Let's go. The opening tip with a spot to the Final Four up for grabs. And you're going to see both teams play 99.9%. All right, ESPN. Let's go. Load it up. Zakai Ziegler short on his three-point attempt, but he gets the rebound. Ziegler tried to hit the three already. To contain you, Tennessee wants to turn you over. Jonas and a turnover that away. quick. Short. And Purdue comes the other way. And Purdue is going to, both these teams will look to push the ball in transition. Great crowd here in Detroit. A lot of Purdue fans, but we see a lot of orange as well. As Edie with his first offensive rebound. And he averaged five a game. He's the number one offensive rebounder in the country. Edie around, they do for two. And you know what? They want to take away the right shoulder, but he showed him right there that he can go to that left shoulder when need be. Tennessee beat Creighton in the Sweet 16 on Friday. Oh, refresh. Held off Gonzaga. Here's Dalton. Connects first shot, and it's good. And that's what you're going to see from him. He's a tremendous player Connect. coming off screens. He reads One the second, defense y'all. well, and he's always ready to shoot. Averaging just under 22 points per game in the NCAA tournament. Edie again, not this time, and Adu gets the rebound. Well, that time they did a better job of pushing him out a little bit further than he did on that first possession. Connect. Here we go. Nearly turns Connect. It over. Great defense by Lance Jones. And it's a tough matchup for Jones because he's considerably smaller than Dalton Connect. Adu. And Edie is fouled going for the rebound. And Here we go. A big part of this game, really every game with Meshack fouled. Edie going up for the layup. Edie. Because the only way you can stop Zach Edie because of his size and his great touch is you got to be physical with him. 
This team posts up more than anybody in the country. You've already seen it in the first minute and a half of the game that they're looking for Zach Eady every possession. Our advanced stats presented by Invesco QQQ. Purdue with the ball here. Left to right, throws it up to Eady. Right over top. Exactly what we diagrammed in our open. It, you know, Adu stayed a little bit too long. And the thing about it is you got to hedge because they like to hedge Tennessee. That's 4 what they two. Do, But you got to get back quickly on Zach Eady. Smith had 15 assists against Gonzaga on Friday. That is a Purdue NCAA tournament record. Tennessee. A three Here's for Misha. From the outside, Smith with the rebound. Smith around Ziegler all the way. Come on, play some defense. Smith. Every play in this game so far has been a pick and roll. 6 2. Or Braden Smith took a three. That time he gets a layup. Two Purdue jerseys surround Connect when he had it. Now Connect to the glass. No, offensive rebound. Adu. James for three. You bet. James came into the oh, game. Three. Tennessee. Struggling. Played well. Three. 15 points. Made three threes the other day against Creighton. And a foul is called. And that's Alon A. Dude on Smith. You can watch the men's final four on your computer, phone, What's tablet, up, Timothy? Or streaming device. Exactly. What's up, Dallas? Live. Download now to stay up to date on all the action. These two teams did meet in the Maui semifinals back in November. Purdue won by four in that game. A combined 78 free throw attempts and 52 fouls. Ridiculous. The they were giving Edie technical. everything. He told us that he does not expect it to be officiated the same way today. But already, and a foul on Connect. Three fouls against Tennessee. They are a team that fouls. Purdue is a team that doesn't foul much. But Braden Smith is so much improved this year over last year. It's unbelievable. Three to one assist to turnover ratio. One of the highest assist nice. guys in the country. How about he had 15 assists in that game on Friday? Foul awesome. on Dalton Connect. You can get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Smith, a first team, all Big Ten selection. And Two free throws, free good. Throws. Eight to five. Eight to five. Purdue. And then we're and a little behind. Right now, Again. Tennessee not doing the normal job that they do, pressuring the ball and refresh at the 12 under 12 the timeouts. Connect. Connect. Knocks it Good. down as he goes to the ground. Eight, seven. That time he comes off the other side, he comes off the screen. He did it already on the on the left side of the basket. Now he does it on the right side. Purdue has scored on four of its five trips so far. Jones Walker and Edie down short. below and pushing each other. Rebound. Yeah, he's the one guy on the team that can take the shot. to the basket. And, and foul. The foul as Meshack was going up. What a pass by Zakai Ziegler. Well, Tennessee, this is the fastest tempo a Rick Barnes team has ever played. They're in top 75. His teams are usually in the 300s when it comes to tempo. They will look to push it. Yeah, both coaches said the same thing. Rick Barnes told us that we are at our best in a fast-paced game. And Mayshack hits the first one. We want to push it as much as we can. Free throw today. good for Mayshack, tied at eight. And I'll refresh the stream here to make it on time here in a second. Santiago Vescovi is at the scorer's table, and he will come in. He's been battling the flu all week. Has so Vescovi practice, in. Uh, did not play Friday. Gets a nice ovation from the Tennessee nine fans eight. here in Detroit. Yeah, it was the first time this year one of their starters didn't play. Here we go. Let's see what he's got Purdue on the ball. Walking Edie battling there. Inside. Edie calling for it. Switch. Shoulder. And good. And the foul. Triple J. 
Let's go Vols, the truth. What's up, bro? you face when you switch, but we got a great start to this one. 10-9 Purdue. All kind of good offense happening at the moment. All right, Tennessee, a little foul trouble here. Two, three quick fouls already. Uh, connect with one, A do with one, and I think they're giving the other one to Triple J. We'll see. Let me refresh this so we have it up to date here. Let me uh, let me go back out like this. So we're at a commercial break, y'all. Watch live. Don't do that to me. AT&T, they gave me their best deal and my choice. There we go. All right, should be back to normal here. 12 seconds, we'll have it back to normal. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hit that like button for us, y'all. Keep on hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel for Tennessee basketball, Tennessee sports, Tennessee athletics. We'll try to bring some basketball, as well, uh, some baseball this year as well. I've never done a baseball stream before for college basketball, college baseball, so – uh, we'll we'll try to learn that, and I uh, hope you guys are having a good day today. So make sure happy, oh, you know what? Happy Easter, everybody! If you celebrate Easter, happy Easter Sunday to y'all. We hope the Easter Bunny brought you some uh, nice little treats in their baskets this morning. So uh, just waiting on the commercial to come back. About a minute and two seconds left. What we tell us about our little channel? We are we are a Tennessee uh, channel, but we rec we welcome all fans. For every team that we we uh, cheer on, so if you're a Purdue fan and you're watching here this morning or tonight, make sure you're uh, saying "Go Purdue, Go Boilermakers, Go Maker, Bo Go Boilers," whatever you you say. As a Purdue fan, we welcome you. We also have a redeem for you guys! Exclamation point! Redeem Purdue is your redeem, and those are pretty cheap. How to get those points? Exclamation point! Points to find out how many points you have just by being in here. You get points, and then exclamation point gamble those points or gamble all will get you more points. Plus, it gives you a little something to do while you listen to the game. So, 19 seconds back from our commercial break. Hope everybody's had a great Sunday morning so far, and hopefully for a Tennessee victory here today. So, let's see what happens. Go Vols. Happy Easter to every single one of y'all. Seven seconds left, and the audio back right now. We have a score of 10-9 Purdue. Let's take a look at these two plays here. First of all, Braidsmith, there's no hedge there, so he goes unencumbered for a layup. Then over here, take a look at Connect. He reads the defense. He sees that Braden Smith is trailing him, so he does a little bit of a curl pop out there, and he's able to knock down the 10-footer. Plus, he's got a smaller guy on him. He's able to raise up over him. All of that from our AT&T Everything in the paint cam, so far, y'all. different from the... Cameras we have on Dalton Connect. How about Purdue already? Four field goals, all of them in the paint. And for the tournament, Purdue plus 64 in the so paint. So Purdue shooting two here. Goffman Misses it. Cannot complete the it was a one-on-one, one one. sorry. The foul was called against Vescovy. And the reason why Kaufman Wren was able to score was they... Oh, it was a three-point play, my he bad. smaller guy on him. They just took him underneath. It's still behind. Bounces it in. Waka. This is Tobey Waka. What a shot. Good. Man, sophomore from Hyde Park, New York. 11-10. His only problem is he gets into foul trouble a significant amount. But this kid's going to be a really good player. He did foul out against Purdue in the meeting back in Hawaii in November. Now that's a hard hedge by Waka there. Waka all over. Into Edie. Edie. Waka on Edie. Edie. There you Triple go. J. Triple J. Double wow. teamed him. You know what? Rick Barnes said, yeah. We're gonna double him much, but that time they did. Connect three. Two, three. It's good. Let's go. Connect. Tennessee. You gotta get to this three. guy quick because he has a sweet stroke, and they love to shoot those in transition. He's already got seven points. Smith looking for Edie. He settles for lawyer. I'll tell you, a walk is doing a great so job on him. Going from hedge to catch an Edie rolling down. Right, the here we go. Doing a great Edie job. on a walker. Edie around. A Too easy. Two. Hey, he's much bigger. If you let him go right, you're going to have a big problem. Connect had it poked away, but right to Vescovy. Connect gets it back. Connect three. three. Oh. It's good again. Yeah, and let's go. Is heating up. Connect. 
Imagine this guy was in Northern Colorado last year. No knock on Northern Colorado, but we're talking about one of the best. 17 12. SEC Player of the Year. And we have an offensive foul. Well, we're kind of getting what we talked about in the open. If you let him go right or to his left shoulder, he's going to score and then connect. One of the problems, really, for Purdue is their three perimeter guys aren't that big. And connect is significantly bigger than Jones and Braden. Keep Smith. hitting that like button, y'all. are coming in. We're trying to get the 50 the likes. He goes to the bench. 146 here. Let's go. The last two and a half minutes. He's got the ball again here. Connect again. Connect Shoot two. Misses. Smith flies in for the rebound. Connect has had five games this year, 36 or more points. Lower three for Purdue. Three. Misses. Edie the tip. It won't go, but he's fouled. Edie gets fouled going up. You know, it's almost like you don't know what to tell a guy when it comes to Edie. You got to box him early. Hey, you can say that, but I don't know what works against somebody that tall who's really just got such a good feel for the game. Headed to Phoenix, download the Men's Final Four app presented by AT&T to help you plan, enjoy, and take part in all the excitement of the weekend available for iOS and Android. I agree with Matt Painter. I thought that should have been two shots. Yeah, they don't get it. The foul was on Owaka. All right, Owaka off the bench. Tennessee. They want fouls. The crowd's going crazy. They think Waka fouled him. Ziegler tips it away. Smith recovers. Shot They're to 10. crying because Edie, they think Edie keeps on getting fouled. He's wide open over there. There's Lawyer with four. Lawyer. Turn around. No good. Edie's fouled out there by foul. And Rick Barnes and the Tennessee fans are not happy with the early calls against the Volunteers. Let him play. I love the way Awaka Matthew, what's up? Back fast, but that time Go ball. That's right, Matthew. Him. Welcome back. It's like nothing you could do there. How is that a foul? Yeah, oh, because he foul. slapped his hand? Come on. It's about 75 25 in the crowd in favor of Purdue, but these Tennessee fans are making their voice heard early. I think they know that they got to be physical with this guy or he could destroy them. Zach's mom, Julia, a mainstay. 17-13. His father, Glenn, is here as well. In fact, I rode the elevator with him this morning. He doesn't like to be You might not have a player by the second I know, right? He told me, yeah, I try to stay away when you guys come locate us in the stands. You didn't have a mic on you to No, no, I, I respect it. <laughs> Now, Edie had trouble at the free throw line against Tennessee back in November. He was just 9 of 17. Hi, 17 14. Free throws this year. He averages over 11 and a half free throw attempts a game. That is incredible. Most free throw attempts in a season since Pete Maravich. Waka on Edie. Shoots it over. Waka Misses. He can't get over him high enough. Colvin the other way for three. In and out, AD with another rebound. Shoot three from Purdue. And Connect goes up to get the rebound. Come on, boys. Ziegler, floater. Floater misses. And there is Jones for the board, and he'll bring the ball up. Under 12 timeout coming here very shoot shortly. And Camden Heidi is a better matchup for Connect because he's much taller than these other perimeter guys. Awaka Here we go. Awaka on Edie. Edie sends it out. Gillis left alone. Yeah, this you, is another. You can't leave him in the same side. I do still scoreless from the three point line. He's a 48% three point shooter. Mayshack. Back to Ziggler. Under 12 here. Looking for a timeout here very shortly. Connect. Connect. Back out, Ziggler. Wide open. And he misses. And he's a good three-point shooter. Not going to get a better look than that. Edie, tough catch. Now, you see what Zach Edie did there? A small thing. A big man like that gathered himself so he didn't travel when he got that pass. 
Leedy on Awaka. Great defense, Great defense behind him. Because Awaka went after his right hand right away. Connect, and he's fouled. And we have a timeout. What a start to this one. It is electric in Detroit. 17-14. Oh. It is electric. The fans are getting into it. The Purdue fans are mad because they think Edie's getting fouled. The Tennessee fans are getting mad because we think that Edie is fouling us. Man, oh man, this is going to be a good one. Keep y'all hitting that like button. Make sure you tell everybody to come hang out in here. This is going to be a fun time. You're not going to find it anywhere else better right here. If you're just watching the game somewhere, it's going to get taken off. But make sure you're hanging out right here. Denny, who you got in the race today? I'm going Truex. We'll see how it goes. Just when you think you know, nope. <laughs> That's right. Let's, let's go Vols. Let's see those Vols in the chat, y'all. Are you a volunteer fan in the chat, or are you a Purdue Bullermaker fan in the chat? Let me see what you got. Oh, thank you for that subscribe. Appreciate that. GT2022, appreciate that. As we're at a under-12 timeout, TV timeout. As 17-14, Dalton Connect's going to go to the line and shoot two. He got fouled on a shot. Go Vols, Carson says. Let's see where you guys are from, too. 156 of y'all here. Let's see, where are you from? Are you from the great state of Tennessee? Or are you from Purdue, Indiana? Is it Indiana? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Vols, turn me against Creighton. <laughs> awesome, man. You're from the land of no show. That's right. No snow. There you go. Appreciate all the love. Are you for Purdue or are you for Tennessee? Let me see. You think Purdue scoring under 75 total this game? I don't know, man. It's going back and forth pretty good. Timothy says Manchester, Tennessee. Hayden says the Vols. What's going on, North Carolina? Let's go Vols because I didn't have nothing to interest in. Hey, that's good. I'm glad you're on our side now this time, Denny. Uh, Vols, what's up, DNHVAC? What's going on? Mm. Georgia Carr says Vols. Good, a lot of Vols in the in the house tonight. Good to see. Cheering us on, baby. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Listening from North Carolina, but I'm a master's student at UT. That's right, Matthew. My daughter's going there the next, next semester. Sevierville, Tennessee. Royal was there uh, two, last weekend. Rode uh, about four hours at the NASCAR Speed Park. Matty F, Virginia, go UConn. I guess since Clemson got popped out last night. There you go, cheering on UConn. All right, back to it here, y'all. Everyone's favorite red-headed warrior, Knuckles, teams up with Sonic and his best pal, Tails. Stream the six-part series, Knuckles, April 26th, exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Back in Detroit, and a moment ago, Evan with Matt Painter. Well, Coach, how is the physicality of the start of this game impacting the style of play? I, I think it's been great. I think it's been a good game so far. We, we've missed a couple open threes there um, that we normally make, and we're getting some pretty good shots right there. Like I said earlier, we just got to embrace the physicality of the game and be able to make plays, whether that's a rebound or getting a loose ball or finishing at the rim. How do you limit connect? Well, he got away from us, one on like a, a long rebound that went away, and then that just happens sometimes. The other time, we just didn't take up his space. He made a tough pull up right there. Very difficult. You got to limit his touches. You got to try to push him out a little bit further, but that's easier said than done. Coach, thank you. All right, man. All right, Evan, thank you. Zach Eady already with eight points and three rebounds. Yeah, I mean, they try to force him the other way. This time, he does a great job of going to the other shoulder. He doesn't like it as much. When you let him go to that left shoulder like he's going to do here, he is absolutely deadly doing that. But obviously a really tough cover. But, you know, Tennessee already has six fouls early in this game. One more, and Purdue's going to be shooting fouls for a long time. And Edie has drawn three of the six Tennessee fouls. He is on the bench right That's now with 11. Cool, you're getting to people to come half. hang out with and us. That's know, right, man. Purdue has done a great job handling the ball. They only have one turnover against a team that we go. Ziggler with the ball. Game. And in Purdue, in three of Purdue's losses, he do back in there, and he misses a short it over one. 14 and a half times. So that. When Purdue loses games, it's because they turn it over too much. Purdue started 5 for 9 from the field. Now they're 0 for 6 with a miserable 33% from the field. 
scoreless from the three-point line as well. To the basket. And another foul. And it's going to go against Purdue. Oh, offensive foul. I'll take it. On Trey Kaufman Wren. Well, he's coming out. They're going to bring they're going to bring Edie back in. Yeah, we met with Zach Edie yesterday, and he told us that he takes pride in being out there, not sitting. He averages 31 minutes a game. I mean, this kid's an athlete. To be 7'4 and to be able to play that many minutes is incredible. For Tennessee on the offensive end. 10.41 to go here the in the, the first team. half. A combined connect with the ten. ball. Here's connect. Puts one up again. Doesn't get the rebound. And Edie is right there for the rebound. That time Edie stepped up and contested that. That ball to Dalton connect. Braden Smith back on the floor as well. Three. three. And that's the Drained it. Down Tied down at 17. The they lead the nation in three-point percentage. 17. That's why Rick Barnes doesn't want to double Edie. He can't leave those three-point shooters alone. Adu misses. No. Come on, Adu. Hey, You're cold, it. bro. Put a walker back in there. Smith on the Smith. attack. Lost it, but right to Edie. Edie goes up. Yes. 19-17. Edie with 10. Nothing you can say about that one. A 7-0 run for Purdue. And Ziggler. It's deafening here in Detroit. I saw the Phillies in there. Go Phillies. There you go, Trey. Trying to hold on. <laughs> Smith dives. Balls on the ground. Got it. Go Phillies. Smith. <laughs> Purdue. Colvin Up and in. Off the mark. Missed. Out of bounds. It'll stay with Purdue. Yeah, you see Braden Smith here. They, they go underneath the screen and don't get to him. And you can't do that with any of these three-point shooters. And then Edie just gets a good bounce, and he's able to finish it. In just over three games, that was the 30th three-pointer of the tournament for Purdue. Who the better rebounding uh, team unless you have the CBS right or the, the March Madness app, you can't watch it live on YouTube. If it will be up, it's still up. It'll be down shortly. Jones comes to get it. Ziegler's all over him. That's how you play a guy who's coming off a screen. Like the guy, like the guy Ziegler did. That's Smith, gonna be back out Edie there. And he it. tried to throw it to a Edie, and Edie wasn't paying attention. Smith, who only had five in the first three games. And let me tell you something about Zach. Keep hitting that He's like button, y'all. Trying to get to 100 ball, likes. Because he gets it more than any other center in America. Only at 42. Hit that like button. Help us help us get there, y'all. Connect is getting a breather for Subscribe as well. Bench right now. Ziegler with Jones on him. They got to get Ziegler going. Five minutes and 20 yeah, seconds without a field goal for Tennessee. A lot of half court. That's not their thing. Get out and transition. Triple Jones. Triple is good and a big shot for the ball. Let's go. So Triple J. Tennessee's not getting Tennessee. Get Three. Transition. That's when they're at their best. But that was a good half court set that James saved them on. Senior leader on this Tennessee team, Josiah Jordan James. And a Another turnover, turnover by, by Edie. That was good defense that time by Tennessee. Third turn. Eight minutes to go here. Including one on each of their last two trips. Eight minutes left, first half. That's good. Oh, you're welcome, man. VIP seats. That's right. Now Ziegler in the Ziegler. three. He buries it. What a great read. Instead of popping out, he saw the defense cheating, so he flared. Hey. The corner. Ziegler. A flare move by Zakai Ziegler. His mom, Charmaine, loving it. A four point Tennessee lead. Oh, what a counter by Smith. I'll counter it right back. Lightning quick to the rim. That was on. We have a battle going on with these two point guards. Ziegler back to Triple J. James. Inside over Gillis for two. He's having a James day, y'all. Eight points, in the first eight points you know, that's for Triple J. Seniors in this kind of a situation.
Wide open Jones for the three. For three. Way, Way air ball. Air ball. Air ball. Tennessee ball. Clocking it up. 6.48 to go. Tennessee has been lighting it up from the outside early. Five out of eight here in the first half. Ziegler inside. Tries to dish one to Awaku. Who lost it straight up. Awaka lost it. Tough Ziegler trying to be fancy. Lawyer doesn't get it to drop. Woo. Purdue went to the layup, so missed it. Is on an 8-2 run with Connect on the bench. 25-21. their leading scorer right now. Picking up the pace a little bit now. Ziegler, Ziegler up. Way, and Jones thought he got all ball, but a foul is called. Stopping the clock with 6-10 to go. What a battle we got going on here in Motown. Purdue in Tennessee exchanging punches early. All right. What a game. What a game, y'all. Appreciate y'all hanging out here today. Let's take a look at my social media really quick. On the go at CeeLo is our Facebook page. CeeLord16. We're streaming on Twitter right now. Make sure you go over there and give it a like or a, a heart and a retweet and a follow over there on Twitter. On the go at CeeLo1 is our Instagram and on the go at CeeLo is our TikTok. So make sure you're following us on all of our social media and we're streaming on Twitch right now, on the go at CeeLo, all one word. So make sure you give us a follow over there. So appreciate everybody watching here today, over now 200 in the chat. And I appreciate everybody hanging out with us here on the channel. Make sure you're hitting that like button. We're trying to get to 100 likes tonight on the channel. And we're trying to get uh, some more subscribers to 10,800. Uh, so we're closer and closer to our 11K goal. So appreciate y'all hanging out with us. And the audio will be back in here in about a minute and 40 seconds. Uh, we have been hanging out watching the Tennessee basketball all season long since the Maui Classic. We watched the game right here together, uh, Tennessee versus Purdue, uh, right here on the channel when we were back in Maui. So uh, that was a heck of a game. This has turned out to be even a better game as this one is. They're both teams kind of fiddling in. So a dude, he's been on the bench. That's why he has zero points. He's also missed four of his last. He's missed all of his shots. Connect. Showing up already. He's got two three-pointers. He's got 10 points. Ziggler's got three, two. And look at Triple J, Jordan James. Three for three from the field. Two for two from the three-point line. He's got eight points, but he does have one personal foul. So, uh, waka has got some fouls. Uh, A-Dude's got some fouls. So, we're, we're they're in the, also very close to shooting in the bonus already for Purdue. So, E.D., of course, he's doing his thing. Four rebounds. Four for seven from the field. Ten points. Though, look at the three-point line for Purdue. Only 14%. Uh, the only one was Smith. He's got he's three for four from the field, one for two from the three-point line. He's got nine points. So, uh, Kaufman, he's got two personal fouls for Purdue, so he hasn't been on the uh, bench on the floor either. But what a great game. That's right. Jack says, Little Jack picked Tennessee Volunteers to win over Purdue. I hope so, man. I think next year when I fill my bracket out, I'm just going to call up Little Jack and say, Hey, Tell me, tell me how to do this. Emily says, Tennessee basketball. What's up, Emily? Emily, welcome back from the other night. The truth is back from the other night, too. So we just need to let, let him score Edie and outscore them. Well, each time Edie's gotten the ball, they have attacked him on both sides, and it's worked. So back to it. We're back with a look at our game summary, and you look at Purdue, 8 for 22. Smith and Edie are 7 of 11 for 19 points. The rest of the team, a combined 1 for 11. Meanwhile, a moment ago, Evan with Rick Barnes. Coach, nearly 14-minute sample size. What's been your best version of defense against what they want to do offensively? Well, we, again, it's all about fighting for space, trying to keep uh, Zach Eady away from where he wants to go. They, he does a good job of doing that, but uh, we got to do a little bit better job bluffing at him. We don't want him to see the lane wide open, and but we were waiting to if he put it on the ground to go get it, but we got to Bluff, bluff at him a little bit more and let him think about us coming in. But our post guys are doing a really good job down there. And uh, difference is, I thought it'd be a much faster game, but they've decided not to run. They just want to walk it up and make it a, a half court game on their end, and which is fine. We we've been in a lot of different games this year. Coach, appreciate you. All right, thank you. Rick Barnes gave us a whole lot there. 
not happy with his perimeter guys, not stunting, faking and retreating at Edie to make him uncomfortable. And the other thing he's telling us is Matt Painter knows his team is a better half-court offensive team than Tennessee. Tennessee's terrific in transition. Matt Painter, the 12th-ranked half-court offense in the country, more willing to play half-court, which hurts Tennessee, I believe. All right, Ziegler. Two shots for Zakai Ziegler. Coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball First one good. Elite Eight. 26 21 is the score. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. Yeah, there's a little delay. And the long rebound is tracked down. Ziggler took the free throw and then a foul committed by Lawyer. Great hustle by Zakai Ziegler. But what else would you expect from him? Yeah, I mean, that's what he does. We already said it, SEC. Defensive player of the year. Usually, when a guy is this yeah, size, ESPN's usually he the league in steals. He didn't even behind the, steals. the coverage, and, he and it has been all tournament. Just a real ball hawk. He can pressure you, make you start your offense 35 feet out. So valuable. And a great feature on our pregame show about the relationship and the adversity that Zakai and his mom Charmaine and their family have. Overcome. Here we go inbound here, Tennessee. Lovely comments from Clark Kellogg about that story just before we joined you from here in Detroit. Connect for three. It's good. And Tennessee opens up an eight-point lead. Purdue has just seven points over the last seven minutes. Dalton Connect is so tough on the baseline. Here's Edie. JP oh, there's so many of them. To try to defend Edie. Lawyer. Back to Edie. Right back to Edie. The double comes. Edie comes up short. What a, the not the freshman Vescovy. Estrella. Vescovy did a great job of attacking Edie there, making him uncomfortable. Vescovy. Vescovy to the basket. Space, misses. Back his, his own rebound. rebound. Out to connect for three. He's hot. He's hot. Timeout, Purdue. <laughs> Let's go. Connect, baby. Let's go. Woo! Man, oh man. 32 21 connect. Just hitting it left and right. We finally figured out how to stop Edie. Man, oh man. Let's go. Come on, Purdue Boilermakers. Annette says, Welcome, man, Annette. Appreciate you being here. Hit that like button, y'all. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go. This is awesome. Man, oh man, Tennessee's come to play. All those people that predict Purdue. This game's not over. It's not over at all. But, man, can't ask for a better game. Shut Edie, Edie with Edie's the entire team. Exactly, he's the entire team. Free throw, you can't win a game 14% from the three-point line. You can't just count on the big man to do something. He's got 10 points, and Smith's got nine. Everybody else, nothing. Let's go. 16 already for Connect. This is a 40-point game probably. Four for four from the three-point line for Dalton Connect right now. Four for four. True. Let's go, Vols. Let's go, y'all. You're just coming in. Hit the What's up, Center Hill, Center Hill Cards? What's up? He was born to connect those. That's right. 56 seconds to go here. Keep on hitting that like button, y'all. We're just trying to get back into this. 55 likes. See if we can get to 100. Oof. Thank you for those subscribes as well, y'all. Appreciate it so much. If we do make it to the Final Four, we will be covering it next week for sure. So, <clears throat> 30 seconds left in this commercial. The rare Englishman who is Vols all the way. Let's try Alan. That's right, baby. <clears throat> 19 seconds to go. We'll bring back the live audio here as Purdue's got a timeout after Tennessee just went on a run with two huge three-pointers from Dalton Connect. I'm loving it. It's like McDonald's up in here. I'm loving it. NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Belfour Property Restoration. State Farm. Like a good neighbor. B O L S. Go balls. Go. That's right, Al. That's right. The truth. Official partner of March Madness.
As a Phillies fan, this is the worst start. Geez, oh yeah, they're getting killed again, Watch aren't they? Masters live for exclusive coverage of I'll look at the score here in a second. And 16 and featured groups. Watch live on the CBS Sports app. All right, Lap, take it away. Well, take a look at Dalton. Connect. They love Tennessee loves this action on the baseline. Lawyer's going to switch to him, but he gets stuck on the screen, and it's deadly. And then in the second one, look at the opening over here that Vescovy finds. Now he shoots a bad shot, but it was so open, he gets the rebound. Dalton Connect makes himself available and knocks out the three. Connect has six points in the last 44 seconds, and another big run for Tennessee. An 18 0 Purdue ball against coast Clayton, to coast. And right now on a 15 four run after that bucket by Lawyer. Well, Lawyer has to get involved in this game besides Braden Smith and Zach Eady. They had 19 points between them. Inside five minutes to go in the first half. Ziegler Two, three, three. three. Yeah, Air ball so for uh, Ziegler. Braden Smith slowing things down for the Boilermakers. Great shot fake. Oh, oh, what a dish to Edie. I mean, no, I don't think an Edie with a dish and a big slam. I don't think so at all. I think he's a, I mean, no way. Great job by Lance Jones in transition. Tried to give it to Connect. He missed it. Went out of bounds. It's turnover. By Braden Smith. In the half court to the big guy. He gets all kind of good. I don't know why Vescovy left it. Not that it would have mattered, probably. <laughs> but uh, 12th dunk of the tournament for Zach Eady. And then the turnover up ahead. Yeah, Lance Jones did a great job there. Transition defense. I'll tell you, Purdue's done a great job. I know they're down in this game, but they only have three turnovers against a team that creates a ton of them. As Steve pointed out, Edie and Smith the ball. for 21. They to the basket. Somewhere else. Back to Edie. As Edie, Edie misses again. Away. He gets stripped. On the ground, James has it, trying to call timeout. Call timeout. And now we have a tie-up, and it'll be Purdue basketball. You know, Andrew, in the game that Ohio State beat Purdue, they were getting their hands on a lot of Edie's balls before he was able to get it up. Yes, sir, like James Allen. just did there. Three to two, Braves. Awesome. And we talked to Rick Barnes and, and Josiah Jordan James. And that, about it's just Edie. Edie. That's all it's happening. That's all playing right now. James told us experience is the best teacher. The difference Barnes in this said, is it's sixty three percent for the, the three point line. That's the difference in this from Tennessee right now. A huge advantage. You know, the thing about Purdue right now is they're one for seven from the three-point line, and they're one of the best three-point shooting teams in the what country. What I say? They got to start getting it rolling from three, like Tennessee has. Seven on the shot clock. Lawyer. Lawyer right through the lane. Walker was, was afraid to block him. He would have gotten fouled. Perimeter shots early, but two drives now in the last couple of possessions. 3.37 to go in this half. In favor of Next shoots two. For more. In and out. Gillis goes up high to get the rebound. And the Purdue fans making noise here in Detroit. And a foul inside as Edie got tangled up. That's the 17 foul against Tennessee. Purdue to the free throw line when we come back. What a start here in Detroit. All right, so Purdue's going to be shooting some free throws now every after every foul now. So Purdue in the bonus already. Hope everybody's had a good time today. Hit that like button for us, trying to get to 100 likes for the, the stream and uh, see if we can get some more folks in here. Tell us, everybody, share the stream out. It's going to be a good time here on all your social medias. Going to have to attack them. Have Going to have a heart attack, Cotton says. I know. Mike says, I'm tired of the seven foot four cheating giant. <laughs> it's hard to guard him. He's huge, man. He's, he's huge. But official TV timeout, 32-27 Tennessee. Hey, we're still in this. Uh, they, now, now it's on them. They have to hit the free throws. They weren't very good in the free throws in Maui. Let's see if they can do it here. Happy Easter. That's right, D. Happy Easter to you and your family. Happy, every, happy Easter to every single one of y'all out there. Welcome to On the Go with CeeLo. Uh, this is our first stream of the day. Later on this evening, hopefully we get some racing in. It's raining. It's going to be raining in Richmond, Virginia for the Toyota Owners 400. We're going to be bringing that live to you 
later on this afternoon. So hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10,800 today. That is our goal, 10,800. And let's see if we can get there. <clears throat> Just waiting on a commercial break, and we'll be back here in about a minute and 13 seconds. Uh, our good friend Triton is in the uh, in the chat tonight, and here is his... Um, we also have his commercial going on in the bottom corner there. But Eric Riddle, travel agent, Majestic Triton Travel, make sure you're checking him out. If you want to go on a Disney trip or a Disney cruise or Universal trip, he can take you very take care of you very, very so. So make sure you check out our good friend Majestic Triton Travel for your summer vacations this year. Everybody likes to go to the magical place on Earth and like to experience those great thrill rides at Universal and also sometimes go on a Disney cruise is fun too. So make sure you check out our good friend Eric at Majestic Triton Travel. Alrighty, so looks like Dalton Connect is going to have to go off. Yeah, I don't fo just follow anyone very minimal, but I'm glad to sub to you by the. Thank you so much, Alan. I appreciate, it, man. I appreciate you. We we've been we've been consistent for you guys. Uh, Tennessee Volunteer Basketball has been. You go back and look at the channel. We've we pretty much covered every single one of them. So here we go. Back to it. And now moments of care presented by Dove Men Plus Care. Charmaine Ziegler is having herself a day watching her son Zakai Ziegler play on the biggest stage in college basketball. And guys, talking to Zakai about mom and her impact on his basketball game. He's obviously SEC Defensive Player of the Year. I asked him, what's his mentality on defense? He said ferocious, and he has mom's voice in his head constantly when he's on the court saying, don't let them get anything, and it works. Well, Rick Barnes told us he is the DNA of the so program. He's gonna shoot That's here. Exact words that one Rick and Barnes one used. And so obviously a very important guy in his program. And he told us Sakai that his mom Charmaine is his best friend. As he it's the first the one, one 32 one. 28. The foul against Tennessee was changed to Tobe Owaka. Thank you for so those subscribes. Jonas Adu is back on the floor as Owaka goes out. And you know, Tennessee's done a pretty good job. With 11 minutes to go in the half, they had six fouls. They only got that. And you thought they were going to shoot a lot of one and ones in this game, Purdue. And in, so 32-29. Our scoreboard so might be a little ahead the of the feed, but we'll try to fix that for you at halftime. 8-0 run for Purdue. And they're about within four of Tennessee. Connect. Get stripped. And a foul on Mayshack. What a great defensive play helping Both out. Both teams are in the bonus. By Fletcher Lawyer. He knows his guys are beeping those Dak is there. He gets him on the way up. Terrific hands. Foul is on Mayshek. That's his second. So he is going to go to the Tennessee bench. And Vescovy returns. Thank you for that subscribe. Mac, Mike, Mike Masters. Thank you so much. And that says, let's go, Purdue. So far this afternoon. Do you dress Logano today? A reminder, coming up he does team well team there. Ernie Johnson, he Kellogg, does well Tim there. He's had a struggling year, though. What's up, Barkley, Curtis? What's going Wilder. on? First half breakdown and look ahead to the second Elite Eight game of the day. NC State against Duke. That's awesome. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate that update. The half. Lawyer has Here we go, Ziggler. 16 free throws in a row. 32-31. Ten zero run for Purdue. Back and forth. Here goes A dude versus Edie. A dude said, I don't want any of that. Connect's going to shoot a three. three. Misses his first Edie three of the night. With the rebound. Lance Jones got away with one there because that was going to be an open shot. You got to fight over those screens big time against this guy. This is the 28th time this year Purdue has had a run of at least Purdue ball to Edie. One. Over and A dude and in. For the Boilermakers. They're up by one. 33-32. Ziggler to A duty missed it. A bad pass by Ziegler. And a turnover. Edie fighting for it. Vescovy comes in and a tie-up. It'll be Tennessee ball. What a great job by Vescovy. Yeah, Vescovy, baby. There and get the ball back. And the reason I say that was a bad pass is because Zach Edie is standing. Thank there. you, Dave G, for the subscribe. Even if he catches. 
catches that Appreciate ball. it. Dave G. How about this crowd? Unbelievable. This whole thing is... I love it. That's going to be three. three. He spins oh. around to Edie. In and out. On this 12-0 run for Purdue, all the points have come from either Lawyer or Edie. It seems like the common thing is Edie. <laughs> to the basket yeah, for Purdue fouled. and fouled. Rick Barnes still has that timeout here in the first half, has not used it. And you know the, the tremendous Thank you, Zandler Louis. Thank Smith you for that subscribe. Lawyer. From last year, we had that game against FDU, and the growth that these kids have had this year is significantly different. And Fletcher Lawyer told us Braden yesterday Smith's that gonna shoot. they see all the headlines. Purdue won't win in March because of their backcourt. He said that fuels us. And this team has been on so This is the first one. That loss to FDU. Lawyer said was a really bad. I never understood why Allen turns to Allen and USA. And then after that, it was all about this season. In and out, and both Smith. free throws, He'll and the ball's on the ground again. Now a tie up. It'll be Purdue basketball. Wow, Gillis just was on the, you know, obviously he wasn't the guy inside on the foul line. He just went and got that. But, you know, there's no, it, it, it's not a coincidence. This is Purdue's best offensive team. When they play four, when Mason Gill is playing Yep, the it's, it's going to be, it's going to be great second half, too, Look, Pierce. Stick with us at halftime, y'all. We're going to do the stats all that gives and all that good stuff. More space, because all four of these guys can shoot the three. Wow, look how loud it is. <laughs> West Lafayette is only four hour, four hours away by car, and a, a lot of people have made that trip from Purdue. Inside two minutes to go. Purdue first ball. Here Smith thought about a three, now drives in, sends it out to Lawyer. Come on, boys. Lawyer right inside and had it knocked away. And then Ziegler is fouled. Not a good foul there. And that's the seventh against Matt Painter's club. Yeah, and one thing about Purdue, they're one of the least fouling teams in the country. You don't get to the one and one like in the first half against them very often. Foul was on Gillis. You pull for the balls, D. I appreciate it, bud. I want Bama. I want for money. I want UConn, Tennessee. But for fun, I want Tennessee, Alabama national championship. But we got to get past Purdue here. Ziegler, Ziegler misses. misses a free throw. You can't miss your free throws. Minute 30 left in this half. Minute scoring drought for the volunteers. Can't stop your dribble up there. They went under the screen. Lawyer feeds Edi. Adu on him. And there's the foul against Adu. You know, Adu got back, but you can't stand behind Zach Edi that deep in the post. Adu's got two Let's fouls. Watch how deep. Look where Adu goes. I mean, he's basically in the I mean, He says Purdue area. fans don't even think they foul. It's exactly. It's impossible to do anything with him if you let him catch it there. I think at that point, you got to try and get in front of him. If they throw it over your head, so be it. Zach Eady has had at least 20 points and 10 rebounds in each of his last four NCAA tournament games. We're waiting on the, the choke job. For the most consecutive see. 2010 games. Eady's going to Robinson shoot here. One and one. Well, Edie is almost there already with 16 points and eight rebounds. David Robinson, he wasn't bad. It worked out all right. Thank you for that subscribe. Three free throws in a row they missed. And he misses. J.P. Estrella and Jordan Ganey. So Adu to Waka and Meshack all have two fouls. Edie misses them both, and a whistle. Gillis did it again. <laughs> that time he went around J.P. Estrella. Take a look at Gillis here. I mean, you can't let him do that. Lane violation. 
is called. So another free throw for Zach Eady. And you see James said, I'm going to switch sides with you, JP. I got Gillis. <laughs> Let's go Tennessee. That's right. Eady makes he hits, it. Wiley hits one. It's 34-32. A two-point lead with 120 to go. And everyone in Detroit rises. Minute to go here in the half. Could the connect the shoot two? Misses. Three for Purdue. Spins In and out. Right Rebound Smith. Purdue. Jones, oh, what a move on Ganey. But Turnover. Over. Here goes Connect. Connect to itself. Slam it down. Let's go. Lance Jones, sometimes he forces the issue. Matt Painter told us that the other day. Turnover, Purdue. Slammer, Jammer, Connect. It's a four and a half minute drought for Tennessee. Seven second difference between Back to Edie. On the freshman. And it's in. Wow. It bumped three. It dropped three times. 17 seconds. And a timeout. Isn't this any fun? This is the GMC. Fun times, y'all. Stick with us at halftime. Don't go anywhere. Come back, please. We're going to have a great second half. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us here on the channel. And uh, keep on hitting that subscribe button. We are nine subscribers away from 10,800. And keep on hitting that like button too as well. We're trying to get to 100 likes on the channel. And uh, we're having fun. This is going to be a blast here in this second half coming up. So thank you guys so much for everything. And let's go back with this last possession here for Tennessee. You're rooting for fan work is thirsty work. Is Coke Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Try and decide i think that these fans have earned a couple of cokes already you know Rent san antonio texas wall fan what's up mama mama's in the house emily tennessee basketball that's right let's win this game let's break this timer let's win tennessee a lot more space to zach eady and they've been able to throw it inside you can't it, it, you can't the guys aren't close enough three to two Phillies top of Braves top of the seventh awesome the three-point shooters these two teams doing it in different ways in the first half Tennessee from the outside Purdue pounding the paint Final here we go Ziggler 13 seconds shot clock off here we go Ziggler ball give it the connect connect six five. seconds you gotta go Connect on the drive using the glass. No, the tip not there. Oh. That is how the first half comes to an end. So Connect tried to shoot it. Estrella tried to tip it in. It did not go in. Dalton Connect when he was driving to the basket. Purdue closes the half on a 15 to 2 run. And at the break, they lead by two. Evan with Matt Painter. Coach down as much as 11. What fueled the comeback? Well, just getting some stops. You know, being able to get some separation on Connect where he got loose from us and made some shots. We just made a couple, you know, mistakes there and got away from us. And then he got them going. Just stay closer with him, made things difficult, challenged some shots. But we need to get in transition. We, we didn't reward ourselves. We missed some free throws there. Got to do a better job of finishing so off. Melody. We just need to get in transition. But then the half court, really try to utilize Zach. 20 minutes from a yes. final four. What's Adam the message Blair, what's up? in that locker room? Taking care of the basketball. We did a good job taking care of the ball. Got to do a better job rebounding and got to do a better job, you know, guarding connect and keeping the ball in front of us. Coach, thank you. All right, thank you. Connect with 18 in the first half. Zach Eady already a double-double with 19 points and 10 rebounds. 36-34, Purdue at the break. Coming up, at and at the half. You're watching the NCAA men's. All right, 36-34 is the score at the half. The Purdue Boilermakers going a long run there at the half to take the lead. Some fouls here and there given, but uh, I'll take it. Down by two at the half against the number one dominant team in the tournament, other than UConn. Uh, but like they said, like uh, more people have to get going here other than E.D. and uh, Smith. Uh, looks like lawyers trying to get going too. 
he's two for seven from the field. But uh, all right, so thank you. Welcome to halftime, guys. Appreciate y'all being here at halftime. We usually go over the stats and highlights and scores around the nation and all that. So we hope to stick with you, stick with us here. And uh, we will bring you the second half, just like we have the first half. Thanks for all the subscribers already. Make sure y'all go out and report all those bots out there. The more bots get taken down, the more folks will come in here and we'll get a big stream going here and having fun watching it together. Jared says, hello, CeeLo. I have Purdue, but I have a gut feeling that Tennessee wins. We'll see what happens. Uh, formerly Fruity Pebbles. Oh, okay, Melody. Good to see you back. Awesome, Fruity Pebbles. The truth, let's go Vols, that's right. Uh, David says, Purdue will win. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Got another whole half to go. Ziggy going to have to get it going as well. That's right. So let's take a look here at the box, the team stats here. And let um, me go up here and see if this works. <clears throat> and that is that. There we go. We'll do this. All right, let's take a look at some team stats here, guys, for both teams. Uh, Tennessee, uh, 12 for 32 from the field, 13 for 30 from the field for Purdue, 37% from the free th uh, field for Tennessee. Ugh, got to get that a little higher. Normally in the 40s or 50s, 43% uh, for Purdue. So both teams kind of struggling. Uh, big difference in the game, why it's so close, though. Three-point shot, 7 for 13 for Tennessee, 6, 53%. And Purdue, one for eight from the three-point line, 12.5%. Free throws, both teams are in the bonus already. Uh, Purdue's in the bonus plus. Uh, free throw percentage, three for five for Tennessee, 60%. Nine for 13. Thank you for that subscribe as well. Appreciate that. Uh, fantastic Franklin. Appreciate that subscribe. Uh, free throws, 69% for Purdue. Rebounds, 25 for Purdue. We'll see how many of those were 80s. And uh, 16 for Tennessee. Assists, 10 for uh, for Tennessee. Normal, a little, little higher than that. Normal, we share the rock like crazy. Seven for Purdue. Both teams have three steals. Blocks, three for Tennessee. One for Purdue. Five turnovers for Purdue. And eight points off of those turnovers for Tennessee. Four turnovers for Tennessee and four points for Purdue. Points in the paint, 24, dominant in the paint. Can't get it going in the paint in the middle of the paint. Edie's been uh, tearing it up there. Ten fouls for Tennessee, seven for Purdue. And then the largest lead was for Tennessee was 11 and for Purdue, four. Our point getters here, Dalton Connect, 18 points, 7 for 14 from the field. Edie, 19 points, 7 for 11 from the field. Top rebounder, Ziegler, not good when your shortest guy is the uh, points getter, is the rebound guy. Uh, not good when your smallest guy is the rebound guy. So, And then Edie with 10. He's already got double-double already. Uh, assists, Ziegler with 5, and Smith with two so there's that let's go to the box scores real quick box scores take a look at that real quick here <clears throat> let me bring this down a little bit there we go uh a dude it's not oh for four from the field he's got no points so a dude on the thumbnail as well thought maybe he would come to live here but he might be getting shut down by 80 how do you hate a college basketball team? I, I don't hate basketball. It's fun. It's fun times, man. Always good times for basketball. I love calling basketball games. They're fun. Dalton Connect, 18 points. He's got two rebounds. Four for five from the three-point line. That's big. Ziggler, one for five. Got to get Zig going here in the second half. He's only got four. Mayshack, two points. He got the start because Vescovy was still sick. But Vescovy come off the bench. He's still 0 for 2. Awaka 1 for 1 for 3. He's got two personal fouls for Awaka, two fouls for Meshack, and two for A Dude on those. There you go. That's fine. <clears throat> um, let's see. On the Purdue side, let's take a look at Purdue here. Um Hoffman, he's one for one for the field, two points, Edie, seven for eleven, ten rebounds, double double already, 19 points. He's got no fouls either, which is crazy. Smith, three for four from the field. He's got nine points. He's got six rebounds. 
Lawyer, two for seven. It's gone kind of cold there to start the game. He's kind of coming around now. Six points for him. Jones, 0 for three, 0 for two from the field from the three-point line. He's got no zero points. Off the bench for Purdue, pretty much nothing. So there was that. And the only game for basketball is uh, Duke NC State tonight at 4.05 right after this one. So. All righty, so that is that for that. Appreciate all the love here today. And uh, let me go back here. And we'll listen in to the CBS broadcast. Thanks for that. We're trying to get to 100 likes, y'all. Keep hitting that like button for us. We're 16 away from 100. And uh, one more subscriber away from 10,800. Appreciate all the love, guys, for today. So let's listen in to the CBS coverage. Who's going to get us some help? That's going to be the key. Purdue's got, if they're going to play either the way they're planning, Purdue's got their one for eight, I think you said. They got to make some shots. Who's going to join the party for Purdue? Uh, great game so far. Two-point game going to the final four when you win this one. We'll look ahead to our second matchup of the day between NC State and Duke. On at and at the half continues right after this. All righty. Appreciate y'all hanging out here. 300 of us here. We'll see if we can get a whole bunch more folks in here as those bots get shut down. Uh, here's another one of our partners on the channel, Travel Depot. Uh, she is a certified travel agent. She is our travel advisor for whatever we do. So make sure you check out Jennifer at Travel Depot. She has a Facebook page you can check out. She has a lot of her pictures from her adventures. Also, she has an Instagram as well. They're both pretty good. Uh, travel Depot, there's her phone number and her email. If you need to get a hold of her, just tell her CeeLo sent you. She could take you to the Final Four if you want. You can give her a call up and say, hey, Jennifer. I want to go to the final four. Uh, she'll definitely get you going there. So, And if uh, you have a budget and you really can't afford much, but you want to go say, hey, Jennifer, I want to go to Disney, but I only have a budget of this, uh, she'll plan that for you and she'll take care of you uh, all the way. So make sure you check out Jennifer. She has helped us out in the past and she has been amazing. So check out Jennifer at Travel Depot. All right, that's all our business for the half. We'll wait... So the CBS coverage comes back. There it is, 10,800. We are 200 subscribers away from 11K. Oh, my gosh. That is crazy. Uh, we just seemed like we went over 10K just about a week, uh, about a month ago. So this game is on Antenna TV for free. Awesome, David. Hey, there you go. I don't know why people on here. Well, because some people don't have those Antenna TVs like me you might have. But appreciate you, David. Thank you so much. Uh Hey, y'all, here from North Carolina. Happy Easter. Awesome, Audrey. Good to see you here as well. Appreciate you being here. <clears throat> Round mound of rebounds, Sir Charles. That's right. He's. Uh, I love these guys, the CBS coverage guys. They're so good. Uh, Jefferson says, did anybody broadcast the Illinois-UConn game would be played? Um, they. I think someone did do that game. I can't remember who it was, uh, but uh, they did have that game. So... UConn versus Alabama next Saturday, and then we're going to see who is going to play Duke or NC State here in the second half. So both teams, both games should be fun. Uh, if Tennessee does make the Final Four, I will be doing both games. And last year, what we did for the Final Four is we stayed live for both games. We didn't end the stream. We just had four teams, and uh, that's what we did. So uh, if you guys want to hang out, with us for both games, that would be awesome. Uh, if Tennessee makes it, we'll see what we'll see the plans though. If they do not make it, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. If it is, when you think about what we've done over the last couple of weeks, uh, we said it's oh. us. DJ Horn bucket a three and a starts foul. at five oh five. Say it now, why not us? When you get to a point like this, well, also, David, some people are not at home. Some people are not at home watching it, so they can't just have an antenna in their car. Duke goes from sweet to elite. In our second game today, 11 seed NC State will see a familiar foe in four seed Duke with a trip to the Final Four on the line. And DJ Burns has captured the nation's attention during this remarkable postseason run, but Burns is also, like Chuck, a renaissance man. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is, man. We're trying to go up. I'm a beast, boy. I'm a beast. 
All right. That's probably going to be a <laughs> commercial copyright there. <laughs> Let's hang out for a second. <laughs> DJ Burns' personality is definitely one of He's a kind. big boy, Not too. Who walk into a room like he does, and it's just kind of the, the presence is felt immediately. DJ's really into fashion. He's taken a step uh, in terms of his fashion since he's been in Raleigh. When you talk to him, you find out so much about him that you would never imagine that he's done in his life. I played upright bass, the piano, the alto saxophone, the baritone saxophone, and the tuba. I love books. As a kid, my mom used to have us maybe an hour or so a day just to read a couple chapters. It just became natural, and I kind of stick with it now. My nickname for him is Big 30. Whatever room he goes into, he draws so much attention. Everything about him just big. I would call him smooth operator because he's really light on his feet and he can score with that left Yankees. Hand. DJ Burns is a very unselfish Thanks player. for the sub. He's awesome. Fine guys first. Thank you for the sub, Steve. For because he's a people's person. I think he will be the mayor of Raleigh one day. Now he's trying to figure out if he can be the president of the United States the way he's playing and the way he's on his big stage and the way he's carrying himself. Thank you, Steve. He's been fun to watch, probably not much fun to play against. <laughs> no, no, he knows what to do with that with that girth that he has. He's skilled, he's got good feet, he's an excellent passer. And I love the fact that he's diverse in his personality. He's got great interests, and you see that. And teams that have those kind of personalities coupled with his skill set, yeah. that makes for a really unique yeah. and dynamic combination. He's such a big part of this game. When you play him, it's almost a little bit like Zach Eady. Like, what are you going to do with him? And I, I watched the last two games that Duke played him. They did not double-team him. They, they went straight up and let him, let him go one-on-one -on -one against Filipowski. Got little, they even used the kid uh, Stewart, the freshman, to play against him, the 6'9 freshman, to put Filipowski on the four-man. Yeah, keep so an eye on that. That could be something that That, that would be really interesting if, if they do that. But... Filipowski went for 28 on them last time. It'd be interesting to see that matchup between. Zio says two. UNC. Yeah, it's be because um, Truth dropping he, some bunnies. Kingsport, Tennessee. Truth, what's up? All the time. He he reminds me of an elder statesman, older than his age. The guys that you grow up playing in the park, and you learn how to play from. Yeah. yeah. So you catch the ball, and they're like, "Young fella, cut." <laughs> <laughs> or they give you the nod, yeah, yeah. and you don't you don't know that that's, yet. That's You're just learning. Yeah. He is one of those old school throwback part players yeah. that yeah. understands basketball and his skill set is high. Yeah, he reminds me of Zach Randolph, uh, yeah, who was a terrific good. basketball player. But I think if you – I wouldn't double him either because you saw Marquette made the mistake. First of all, they were using a bad double team. They were double teaming him way too out on the floor, get him easy passing lanes. But they let those guys get going. See, we get some more truth. Late. Remember we had that other night? We had 900 in here. slow the rest of those guys down because Marquette did totally opposite. They doubled – and just gave him easy passes, and then everybody got going instead of Burns. It's their third meeting in the month of March. The uh, second half is coming up, but first, let's go over to the AT&T Connect You campus with coaches J.B. Smoove and Kayla, who have got another important and fun lesson. All right, so halftime is coming uh, to the end. We're going to have another second half. It's going to be a great second half. Let's see if Purdue makes some changes. Let's see if Tennessee makes some changes. Uh, I think what's working on Edie, though, I mean, even though the points don't show it, he's got a double-double already. He's got 19 points, 10 rebounds. When he does get the ball, uh, Tennessee's attacking from both sides. So he got the one that's guarding him, and then the other one's coming in and swatting the ball away. And that's happened. But then Purdue went on a big run there at the end of the half. So we'll see what team, what the teams come out here and have the fun here on the channel. So appreciate y'all having it out. Keep hitting that like button for us. We're almost to 100 likes. Eight more to go. Keep hitting that subscribe button for NCAA basketball, NCAA coverage. Try, plan to try to plan some NC uh, Tennessee baseball games and try to do uh, definitely do N uh, Tennessee football here in the fall. So uh, we'll try to plan both of those and uh, bring some more fun. So if you like Tennessee football, we did actually did the uh, our bowl game that we went to, and it was really good against Iowa, and uh, had a good turnout for that. So uh, definitely stay with us. Yeah, I mean, some like I said, David, some people are not at home watching the game. They're out and about, so they can't count on that. So they, they uh, or they're at work, or they're just – 
unable to watch it on the cable. So some people don't have TVs. Connect needs to connect. You're right, Lucas. He was doing well. He's uh connect was where was he? He was four for four from the three point line until he missed that last one. But he's got 18. So who's gonna be the bigger man here? Connect or Edie? But uh if Tennessee could stop the points in the paint, we got this game in the in the books because Look at the th- look at the three point shots over here. Twelve point five percent from the f- three point the three the three point line for Purdue, and they've been one of the top three point shooting in the country. So, <clears throat> yeah, and we got tons of people that live overseas as well. So, uh, I'm glad to bring these to you guys. James has been solid. Triple J, yes, uh, three for three from the field, two for two from the three point line. Um, he has really, uh, shown that he is here to play today. So if you like major league baseball, we've got you, uh, I got our ticker going here today to follow, follow all your teams. Mets brewers, everybody on Sunday, but here we go back at it. It's a bleacher report for the latest episodes of from the point by Trey young featuring the basketball stars conversations with a list guests and his unique perspective on stories from around the league. Download the bleacher report app to watch now. Zach Eady already. Sir with Lucas. Thank you. Looking for more against Tennessee. Great clip. All right, so coming back here to the second half. Don't go anywhere. Keep on hitting that like button. We're three away from 100. And we'll get some more folks in here as well. See if YouTube will share us out to other people on their For Your pages and say, hey, check this guy out. He's he's doing an awesome job. He's uh, getting some subs and some likes. And uh, if you guys want to become members, 99 cents gets you the least of these emojis. If you're a big Orange fan, you definitely want to use these emojis during the game. But it also helps the channel. It goes back to the channel as well. And here is the emojis for today's game. Let me bring that down. <clears throat> Someone else wants to put those in if you're a member. If Purdue gets just a few threes to drop, it's not even close, John says. But yes, both games are in Detroit. Almost 11,000. That's right. We're almost there. Almost 11,000. But here are the redeem, the emojis for you guys. Even I got Purdue emojis too, y'all. I even have Purdue emojis. So, 99 cents gets you the use of those during the thing. And then we have a second la- layer is $1.99 and you get access to early vlogs. And then MVP gets you a special live stream on Mondays. Uh, a special live stream where you guys are just hanging out with me in a chat and uh i'm on camera and you guys are just back and forth and no games no races to call or anything just uh asking questions and just talking about things so that's our mvp we call it mvp members mondays and they're really fun so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and also become a member it's a lot of fun triton was in there last week he had a good time thank you for subscribing there jim and donna hicks thank you so much for subscribing uh David says Purdue has been anxious. They need to collect themselves. I'm sure that's what's been talking about in a halftime. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Can I see the game for 99 cents? I wish, Dwayne. I wish, man. I wish I could uh, show the game, but uh, that is a no. I just looked, and they got them all gone, so. NCAA men's basketball tournament is sponsored by 100 likes. Thank you guys. Let's go sports bar. Capital One. What's huge. your wallet? The Home Depot. The Thank you so much, Danny. Appreciate it, dude. March Madness. Glad to have you back. By AT&T. Connecting changes everything. Let's go Vols, y'all. Next stop is the final four as we welcome you back to Detroit and we take a look at the Intuit TurboTax first half stats. Purdue, one of eight from beyond the arc. That's something that needs to change in the second half. 
Back courtside with Steve Lapis, I'm Andrew Catalan. We'll hear from Evan Washburn in a moment. The Stars have come out to play. Connect has 18, Edie with 19. That's right, Les. 19 and 10, Zach Edie does at halftime. But Dalton Connect has been up for the task, too. We showed him in our open, two great players. Let's take a closer look at what's happened so far, Lap. Well, you take a look here. Look at the spacing around Zach Eady. When they play the four perimeter guys, where Mason Gillis is the four man, it's impossible to double team. And Harold. He, connect. he reads screens so well. He comes off that screen on the curl. He's also got a significant That's size a good point, Carlton. They need to do that. The perimeter guys that Purdue has, they got to get to him sooner for sure. Over the last seven minutes of the first half, Connect was the only vol that's, to make a field probably, goal. Maybe they'll try to do that, Carlton, the, but that's a great point. Already with a double double, and Evan just chatted with Rick Barnes. Yeah, guys, and Coach said offensively he wants to see better decision making, and defensively when Thanks it comes that, to subscribe. with Zach Eady, so we need to be tighter on him. Not Call the coach. Him to get so deep in the paint, get Let that me, position, and hold this on, was like, interesting too. Let me get that right now. He said. We want to create some confusion by not letting them know when we're coming and when we're not. And one last point, guys, to know. Yeah, Barnes, Purdue. I know you're busy, Second but uh, the guy in the chat, 50. he's saying get in Edie's eyes. All right? Point, All right. I, I know you got to go. All right. Teams are 20 minutes away All right, done. Done. Final four. All right, Ziggler. And oh, the first turnover right there. Ziegler. Lance Jones with great defense that time. And he finishes at the other end. Connect, Connect had the ball, turned it over. Him up, and he stole that Both ball. with five turnovers here. All right, let's start over here. 38-34. He's got Braden Smith on him. Connect to Adu. Adu so out there. Connect your three. three. It's good. He's five out of six from deep. That time, Brady Tennessee, kind of slipped, which allowed Dalton Connect to be open for that three. Tennessee red hot from the outside. Eight 21 for on Dalton Connect. Smith to Edie couldn't make the catch in a turnover. Here and comes Edie Tennessee. To Purdue with their six turn to finish. Connect. Connect from Meshack. Will you? Meshack to connect. At their best running in Balls of the lead. Dude didn't do a good job of getting back that time. Seventh lead change of the day. Here's Edie with Edie. position. And he scores. Enough. And on that bucket, Zach Edie has now tied David Robinson. 21 for the points. Most consecutive 2010 games in the NCAA tournament. 21 and 10 for Edie today. They're running all these baseline screens for Dalton Connect. They're switching on to him a lot. Connect with the ball. A dude comes out for the block. Here's Connect. Goes to the basket, to finds Ziggler. Shoot it right there. And it missed. If he would have shot it right there when he got the ball. And Meshack. Meshack with a foul. And a foul. And for Meshack, that's his third. Well, he's got to come out. Probably going to get Vescovy in the game. And there goes Vescovy off the bench. So Meshack comes out. Vescovy, Can't watch, Ray. As we told you, did Let's go, boys. All, All they got. Not play Let's go. Creighton no talent. Just a play. goon, Les says. Yeah. He has gotten over 900 points this season. Just the fourth Boilermaker all time to accomplish that. I think James has to back off. Kaufman Wren there. Here we go. A dude with 80. 80. Out to Lawyer. Lawyer right back inside. Too strong. 80 the offensive. 80 with the rebound. Edie to go oh, how's foul. that not a foul on him? His fourth offensive rebound of the game. I thought he got away with doing a little this? bit of a push off in there, Zach Eady. How do you? Let's see here. Oh, yeah. A do ended up under the rim. And they call James. How do you foul? foul. I'm not foul someone and he's second. going like this. And Edie now five out of seven at the free throw line today. Misses free throw.
The last player to lead the country in scoring and make the final four, Oscar Robertson back in 1960. Oh Hits that one. Edie has a chance. 41-39. He leads the country in scoring. Good old bummer. Thank you so much, Matt. Connect. Shoots up. Nope. Thought he was going to shoot it, but he gave it to Ziegler. Ziegler uses the screen, puts up another shot, and a foul is called. Foul on Purdue. Second on Braden Smith. Normally, he's a guy. Ziegler is pretty good with that floater. Hasn't been really able to get him down on a consistent basis. Braden Smith went under him there. It was a foul. <laughs> Exactly, dude. Misses. English contender. Come on, Zig. That's twice you've missed. Keep on hitting that like button, y'all. Hit that subscribe as well. Highlighting an epic UEFA Champions League quarterfinals. It begins April 9th on CBS and stream every match live on Paramount. Hit that one. 41 40. Five from the foul line. And one of six from the floor. He does have five assists for the Volunteers. Here we go. Purdue. Big man with the ball at the point. Not nearly as much space right now in the game for Purdue. Back to Edie, Edie. 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 Four. We get a foul, and that's going to go on Jonas Adu. He's had a tough day for Tennessee. He really has oh. had a tough day. You know, when you think about it. Two fouls on Adu now. Waka Here comes a Waka. Adu have really not given a whole lot in this game. That's why that's why Tennessee hurts in the half court. Three fouls for Adu, three fouls for Meshack. Adu with his third foul. He comes out. He's 0 4 from the Come floor. on, we got to attack. Oh, we got to go in there. Edie. Wow. He's got his both hands on that, him. That's what they want. They want. They want. And there's the call. <laughs> it's got to be. I know a the with a foul. That is the eighth foul that Zach Edie has drawn today. And that's ridiculous. On Awaka. Gene Steratore, we talked about this with you on Friday, the difficulties in officiating a game Zach Eady is in. Well, yeah, you know what, Andrew? You're going to have a body on, on Eady all day, and Iwaka and Eady are uh, sharing the fouls. Three and three, three right now. So that and in, 44-40. And Coach Painter's in a good spot right now because Eady has zero fouls right now with 16 and a half left in the second half. That's a great point, Gene. As Lawyer hits the triple, and it's a four-point Three game. for Connect. Connect. And out. And Eady with the rebound. And Eady with the rebound. He stepped out of bounds. And a tie-up. And it will be Tennessee basketball. We'll take a look here at what just happened. A lot of contact there. It's actually Purdue basketball with the possession. He now. stepped so out of bounds. Lakers have the ball up by four. The fourth held ball of the game already. Come on, Tennessee. Down by four. Awaka's trying to front him, trying to not let him. doing a good job, not letting him catch the ball. I'm going to walk out and beat him, man, Smith watching these guys. The Smith with five. Smith Shoot three. three. And In and out. Rebound, rebound Tennessee. Who wants to push. Here comes Connect. Coast and to coast. And he's fouled. And he will go to the line when we come back. 15.52 to go. The battle continues. Tennessee and Purdue for a spot in the final four. All right, two-minute commercial break here. Foul on Lawyer. How many fouls is that on him? He's got one. Connect's going to go to the line and shoot two here. 44-40 is the score. Man, it's so way too soft on Edie. I mean, you should see. I mean, if you can't take your – he had the basketball right here, and he's doing this. How is that not a foul? And he's hitting people. Like, crazy. Dude, still no fouls. Exactly. Like, how – him and Awaka are, like, pushing on each other backward, backward like that. 
crazy. Keep on hitting that subscribe button. Keep hitting that like button for us. This is going to get crazy here toward the end here. Let's see if we can get a whole bunch of folks in here. Help help us help get that like button still. We're drawing 150 on the likes. That's our new goal, 150 on the likes. Help us get there. I agree. It was a foul. I know, Lou. This is ridiculous. Less, I mean, sorry. <clears throat> D-dropping the Smokies, man. That, that must hurt you to do that, dude. I, <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. I guess as many times as I said roll tie the other night, you you owe me a couple Smokies and go Vols, right? So, as you don't know, one of our mods, D, he's a huge Roll Tide fan, Alabama. He bleeds the crimson. He sleeps crimson. So, uh, but he's a great guy, and uh, he's been with us for a while. So, D, thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Keep hitting that subscribe. Let's see if we can get to 10,810, maybe 10,820. Let's see what's up. Matthew, what's going on, man? Braves got the lead still over there, or? Uh, bummer. Two now good uh, performances there for the Braves. Not looking too good, but uh, we'll see. See what happens. Twenty seconds left here in this uh, commercial break. We'll bring bringing it back to you here. Audio. This has been fun. Everything I thought it would be. Watching you from the Bahamas. Awesome, man. Good to see y'all found us. Five, four. Three, two, oh, one, sports. let's go. What part? Nassau, where are you from? The Bahamas, where are you at? We're back with our tournament summary. Awesome, Eric. And last night, UConn and Alabama put what part of the Bahamas? To the final four. And coming up next, it'll be Duke against NC State. Ian Eagle calling that game, and Ian Eagle calling the final four for the first time this year. We wish Ian uh. all the best. Lap, Zach Eady in the post. Tough well, stop. Yeah, this time he does exactly what he's Elbow supposed K. to. Elbow K. Awesome. The double comes, and he looks opposite where he's got a really good three-point shooter. Nobody on him. That's what you're taught. When you get doubles in the low post, look to the opposite side of the floor, and a guy's going to be open. That time it was lawyer. For Tennessee, Dalton Connect has the last five field goals for the Volunteers. It's been over 11 minutes since any other Vol. We're outside of Marsh Harbor. Nice. Well, did not get All right, Connect. Big guys. Kai Ziegler is not having a good game so far. Dalton it's the first one. Family is here today in Detroit, the Thornton, Colorado native. I mean, Ganey, had, Ganey, who's in the game now, has been a good six man all year. He had 15 in that game in Maui. Missed the if free throw. Him, it would be important. Walking uh, with the rebound. There you go, baby. Ganey's and out there now. Three. The three. Can't get it to go. Oh. Edie grabs the rebound. Edie with the rebound. Ziegler has had a some really open looks from the three point line. Ziegler needs to get it going here. From the floor and one of five from deep. That's and Ganey pushes off, and that's a foul on Ganey. And that's already Ganey comes in and gets a foul. Team foul against Tennessee. They had six with 11.30 to go in the first half. Can't watch this, I know, man. After that. Yeah, they, they, they only got one. They didn't get one for until they were three Latrine. minutes to go. Let's go, Boilermakers, he said. All right, inbound Purdue here. Mason Gillis. And he's got five fouls this half. Now they have this one more, and they get the bonus. Jones around the screen for two. Just let him go by him. Pressure that Zach Eady puts 46 on 41. Alert, Ziggler I mean, needs to get going else here. Sneaks to the basket with no Ziggler five points, it's one for seven from the field. In the paint today. Connect. Any a tough time handling that pass. Ziegler with five on the shot clock. Ziegler we'll have to refresh. It's behind. Slips. Ziegler has to put one up. He does from the corner, and it's an air ball. Tough defense by the Boilermakers. And Edie's the one that made Ziegler like, well, he was going to go down the lane. He's one Zach for eight there. for now He's for Ziegler. It's not working. Zach Edie caused that shot clock violation. You talked in the first half, and Charles Barkley. This guy's a giant, man. It's going to be hard. About Purdue's need for a third How score. are they handling the 7 4 giant? Not good, Ken. Right now. 
and that's three really guys at three fouls. To be that third we have to have Ganey and Awaka on there. Connect can't do it all. Nine points today. He had 27 in the first meeting of the season between these two. He's got the ball here. I'll say one thing about Awaka. He's working hard on eating. Shot clock at four. Out to Jones, launches a three. And Edie, and Edie gets the rebound. rebound. Missed it. Who's got it? Golly. It away. Lawyer for three. Edie tips it to Jones, and a foul is called. Foul on a walker. These two teams leaving it all on the floor right now. With Let him play. Let him play, and ref. Is the fourth on a walker. And he's really been the best defensive player on Zach Eady in this game. Now they're going to bring in a young guy in Estrella. Let him play. Awaka fouled out of the first meeting against Purdue, and he goes to the bench with four fouls today. Now we got to have a freshman in there. Lauren, thank you for that subscribe. Lauren, position missed it. Eady the foul and the foul, but no basket. Foul is on the floor. Foul is called against Ziegler. I tell you, Ziegler with a foul. After it. So is Tennessee, no doubt about it. But I mean, and Estrella was holding him, but he still couldn't stop him. Moyer's going to shoot. For Estrella, a one and one. From Scarborough, Maine. Oh, one and that's a two. He, he, minutes per game. Two shots here. Well, the truth is, Adu was really ineffective. No other seven so footers or seven five. Let me, let me try Estrella. But the free throw shooting. Lawyer, good. Normally, Lawyer, more reliable. Let's check in. Thank you for the subscribe, y'all. Keep hitting that like button, trying to get the 150 on the likes. Physicality, but. He said recently it actually gets him going. He likes it at times. It takes his Connect. game to another level. He needs to get going, dude. He half. goes to the basket, and he misses. And he altered Connect's shot there, Evan. Yeah, Connect was looking to get his body there. Three from Purdue. Gillis for three. No good. He's been off the mark, and Edie tipped it out of bounds. Tennessee what, ball. These guys are making threes. I mean, they're still in this. Still in this. From the three-point line. And now two for 13 after the 15 percent for the field for and they're today. still winning because of the stupid fouls down low. A six point game. How does he not have Susan any fouls? Purdue, number one in the country shooting 41 percent from deep. Ziegler. Yeah, this is well, said something about the Tennessee back out. Ganey three for three. That's a big one for Tennessee. Ganey. Yeah, they needed a boost from somebody, and Ganey is capable, as I said. He had 15 against Purdue and Maui. The son of Tennessee associate head coach Justin oh, Ganey. Another turnover. turnover. One. Ziegler. Ziegler. Way. Here we go. And, you know, this is what Tennessee tries to do. You know, they may not 47, you 46. Wear on you. And eventually, you might crack. That's what Purdue's got to be careful of right now because they don't sub these guys. They don't play. Braden Smith plays almost the whole game. That was the first field goal by Tennessee by someone. I'm all freshman Estrella. 14 minutes. Two Lawyer, shot. They're good. 49, 46. Great shot off the dribble. Estrella was Ganey. Ganey Fake the three. Goes to the basket. Instead off the glass. No good. How did he not get fouled? Estrella was camping out underneath. One thing, Purdue, one of the best rebounding teams in the country, Andrew. Purdue by three. The 34 right rebounds. ED cutting and scoring. 51-46, 3 to go. Yeah, the rebounding is really getting out of hand for Tennessee. Three Ziegler for Ziegler. Still can't get on track. Yeah, I don't think Rick Barnes liked that one. And Tennessee's a little tired. Next whistle is a media timeout. Rebounds this half to your point, Steve. Strella, you got it. In favor of Purdue. Oh, Strella on Edie. And Edie is fouled. And he gets fouled. And Fletcher Lawyer is saying, get up, Purdue fans. 11.39 to go. Purdue up by five on Rick Barnes and the Volunteers. We gotta we gotta cause turnovers before they can get it to Edie. That's because there's not gonna be any stopping him. They're not gonna let us stop him. 
They're not going to give us anything, everything. He's got zero fouls, y'all. Z- none. And he's doing everything down low, but they're still giving it to him. My gosh. Exploit. I don't know how we can exploit it. That's the crazy thing. How? They have 35 rebounds to R19. They're shooting 15% from the field. They don't have to shoot 50. They don't even have to worry about the three-point. They're there just in case. But I, I say let them shoot the three and hope they miss. And double-team Awaka or double-team Edie, let them dish it out and put the pressure on the guy that's shooting the three, and hopefully the ball will turn over. But then Edie's right there to get the rebound. So I'm not sure what we need to do here. But Meshack's got three. A hey, dude's got three. Awaka's got three. Not looking good, y'all. Connects the only one with one foul. Ziggler, he can't get anything going. He's two for ten from the field. He's got seven points. He's got he's got four rebounds. He's got the most rebounds on the team. The the our point guard. <laughs> so still within this though. It's still anybody's game. We're, it's not over, y'all. But keep on hitting that like button. We're trying to get to 150 on the likes. Trying to get there. Butterfly, what's up? He's just a goofy giant, Mike says. Nothing says we need a spark. We need something. That one little spark, right, Triton? Uh, Prentice says it's a wrap for Tennessee. It's not over yet, man. It's not over yet. Tennessee is awful, Gabe says. I mean, other than you take Edie away from Purdue, they're horrible. Look at everybody else. Lawyers, all their his stuff has come with foul shots. Nobody else has anything. The team is horrible without Edie. You take Edie off, Tennessee went on a run. They brought Edie back in. So Purdue is not as good either. They're not, their depth is not good either. They have one thing, Edie. That's all they got. So you can't call us horrible because Purdue is the same thing. They're horrible without Edie. So Edie, if Edie's a, is Edie a senior this year, next year they're horrible. They won't be even in the top 25. Purdue won't even be in the top 25 next year. We probably won't be in the top 25 without Connect. I don't know. It's going to be weird. We got this, Big Orange. That's right. Can't understand how Tennessee gave up that huge run, though. Yeah, craziness. The National Golf Club for a tradition unlike any other. The Masters on Tennessee CBS is goaded. It's goaded, Jonathan says. Blake says, we blew it. We're up, we were up by 11. We were. If Tennessee's horrible, then UVA is a kindergarten level. Yeah, they are. And certainly a staple at Augusta. 51-46, Purdue, as we check in with Evan. Yeah, and like Vern, Gene Cady, a Hall of Famer, one of the two head coaches of Purdue over the last 44 years there, as you can see with the Purdue hat in the background. And you don't have to talk long with Matt Painter, guys to recognize how Katie still has an impact on this program. Painter obviously played for Katie, and he brings a lot of what he learned from his head coach to this team. One of the things he references, a roster of company men. He's building them not just for what they're doing right now, but they what they're doing. They want Edie in the finals. The and they I want UConn versus Purdue. This team has handled and he misses this free throw. season after what happened in this tournament a year ago. Uh, no doubt about it, Evan, and great to have Gene here with us today. Zach Eady at the free throw line. And Steve, if, if you're a Tennessee fan, you look at the box score we were just handed. Eady has drawn 10 fouls and has not been called for one. <laughs> exactly. Really, I mean, he, he, he doesn't have to. He just gets his arms up in the air. All right, just stroll with the ball back Tennessee to the point to connect. Aren't really offensive minded guys. Connect. Shoot two Shooting. for connect in and out. Around and last touch by Estrella. You know, Zach Eady is not being pushed really in this game off because the guys on Tennessee aren't offensive minded. Heidi nearly lost it. Now Here we go. the other way. The red shirt freshman over to Lance Jones. He'll set up the Purdue offense. Eady's still out there. 11 14 to go. Up by six. With Estrella Here we go. Estrella versus Edie. This is a ridiculous matchup. They want to spread it out a little bit now. Come on, be careful, Ro. Here's Edie with five on Edie the shot to Estrella. Edie inside. Oh, what a move by Edie. That's what you call a great. He faked the right, went the he left. Went left. 
And Estrella got played. And went under Estrella for the layup. Seven straight for Purdue. 7-0 run. Triple J. Back to connect three. In and out. And Tennessee has gone cold. No points in the last two and a half minutes. I'll tell you, Fletcher Royer ran out and contested that shot. Thanks really for those hard. subscribes. Appreciate it. Patrick. Jones to the basket. Blocked. Here Number comes Meshack. Back to Ziegler. Connect. And he scores. Ooh. What a great pass. And we've seen the Ziegler to connect with the layup. Offense is when they can get out and run. But you can't 54 run 48, lead is six. Ziegler Need a turnover here. Great matchup there. Oh, a hard screen. Rick Barnes wanted a foul against Eden. How's that not a foul? Edie came out for a block and nailed Ziegler to the ground. Edie. Out to lawyer. Let him shoot right the three. Estrella, Let defense. him shoot the three. He lost it and a foul. A push is called against Purdue. And they're booing. Estrella does a good job of getting over on Jones. Alley oop down the other way by Connect. And a sarcastic cheer by the Tennessee fans as the Purdue foul goes against Edie. That's his first of the day. Oh, wow. He got a foul? Where? We have 102 points combined in this game. Connect and Edie have 53 of them. Finally, they gave him one. They owed us one for when he knocked Ziggler to the ground. Who else is going to step up? Connect again Connect. to the basket. Back out to Ziggler. Fakes the pass. Fakes now shot. Ganey, shoot the three, Ganey baby. Bottom. He's got two now. That's big. A great job by Ziegler, who didn't want any Ganey. Ganey. on that Ganey. Play that time, But got it out to the perimeter. That's the 10 3 of the day for Tennessee. 54 51. Estrella is giving it his all out there for the ball. Smith, no good. Out of bounds to Purdue. Yeah, this is what happens when you get good dribble penetration. What Ziegler did, he gets in here. 144, and he's got I don't know. Alone, even though that pass a little shaky, it bounced up to him. He's able to knock down the three. Shot clock at 13 for the Boilermakers. Inbound here to Purdue. Turn it over. Connect. Go to the basket, baby. Let's go. One point lead. 7 0 run. Tennessee brings it right back. They forced the most turnovers in the SEC. Tennessee has 17 points off turnovers today. And Matt Painter calls a timeout with 8.45 to go. A 7-0 run for the Volunteers. And we've got a one-point game on CBS. Ooh. What a game. <laughs> Take out Edie. They're lame. They come back. is real. We'll see what happens. Oh, my gosh. 54-53. Eight forty-five to go. Keep hitting that like button, y'all. We're trying to get to one fifty on the like. Over six hundred in here. Let's see if we can blow it out of the water here tonight. Help us get there. Keep on hitting that subscribe. Keep hitting that like button. Man, oh man, let's go, y'all. Big game. Fifty-four, fifty-three. Both powerhouses going back and forth. One goes on a seven-zero run. The other one goes on a seven-zero run. Finally, Edie's got a foul. Thank goodness. Edie's twenty-seven points, sixteen rebounds. 10 for 15 from the field. On the other side, connect 11 for 22, 28 points. One personal foul. He's got three rebounds. Thanks for the subscribe. Appreciate it, y'all. Keep staying with us, y'all. It's going to be a good time. No stress in Purdue, he says. This game is intense, as I know, man. Go Vols, Junior. What's going on? The comeback is real, Courtney says. Audrey's giving the claps. He can't play the whole game, right? He's got to come out, right? He's got to get some rest. He can't play like 40 minutes, right? He was he was out for like a minute and he came back in. 
But keep hitting that subscribe. Keep hitting that like button over 614 here. Let's blow it out. See if we can get 200 likes. Thank you for getting us to 150. Let's go 200 now. <clears throat> go Big Orange. Trish says, down goes the giant, Mike says. <clears throat> We're trying to get to 11K, y'all. We're almost there. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable, y'all. Trying to get to 11K. We just have another, hopefully we have a NASCAR stream tonight. Uh, if you like NASCAR, 600 viewers. If, if y'all like NASCAR, make sure you join us tonight. We bring in the Toyota Owners 400. If it doesn't rain in Richmond, keep our fingers crossed. But uh, make sure you join us for that stream tonight around 530. Thank you guys so much for hanging out here. Oh my gosh. Eight seconds back to the stream here. Enjoy this game, y'all. Have fun. Keep it clean, though. And uh, be nice so our fellow other Purdue guys are in here. But let's let's have fun. You can trash talk as you want, though. CBS Tonight. Catch a new episode of the most watched show in the country. Starring Justin Hartley. Tracker. New tonight after the Equalizer. All new all spring on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus with our producer Jonathan Siegel I think director, so as well Andy Mike Goldberg, statistician Ethan Cooperson our entire crew we thank you for joining us on this Easter Sunday and the stars have shown up Steve Lapis well, well Tennessee has no one with more than eight other awesome than Jack Dalton connect Purdue that's has always good luck lawyer, on our side with so Purdue's going to inbound here with nine but Brady Smith has scored in a long time Purdue had a 9-2 run in the second half. Tennessee has answered with seven straight points. Back out. Let him shoot the three. Let him shoot it. Still in there. Let him shoot it. They can't hit it. They're 12%. Let him shoot the three. Six on the shot clock. Estrella on Edie. He missed it. There you go. You go Estrella. Left hand and that right shoulder. You got a chance. I'm not saying you can't do it. But you've got a chance. Come on, Ganey. Thanks for that subscribe. Ziegler is on the bench right now for Tennessee. Come on, Triple J. You got to do something here. You got to get it to somebody. Ganey with 10. Already two threes today. Ganey will put up another short Estrella fat. And it goes out of bounds. Estrella was. They look lost the without Ziegler. Could not hold on. And a timeout on the floor. We got a good one going down to the wire with a chance to get to the final four. Who's going to cut down some nets? 54-53 Purdue. Man, oh, man. You can do this, Barnes. Let's go. With a name like Latrine, guess we know. <laughs> well, y'all be nice to each other it's just because they're Purdue fans or whatever. Uh, just y'all be nice to each other. Keep it clean in here. And I uh, hope you have a good time today. I hope you've had enjoyed the stream and you've shown with the likes today and the subscribes and over 600 in here. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for all the love today. Uh, keep hitting it like button. Keep hitting it. Keep subscribing. We're going to have a good time here the rest of the game. We got 7.53 to go. We got over 600 in here. We could probably get 1,000 in here tonight if we can. So, yeah, let's get rid of that 666. I saw that, too. I saw that too, Billy Bob. I was like, man, change that exactly. <laughs> like some of y'all leave or something. I don't know. We're Gates. Get more people in here. That's 666. Woo. <laughs> I saw that too. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, man. Can you say my friend Mason's name? Zandler. Mason. Thanks for watching, man. Mason. Appreciate you watching. <clears throat> I'll just get rid of it. You got 655. Yeah, it, it, it went away. It went away. It was there for a second there. I was like, hey. So keep hitting that subscribe, y'all. And uh, thank you so much, guys. Wow. Almost 150 to go to. Oh, a little more than that. 175. 174 now to 11K. Oh, some of y'all left. I guess you shouldn't, uh, as a host, I shouldn't say y'all leave, right? You shouldn't say leave. Feed it to the big man, Edie, Annette says. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, you, you're going to have to. But my thing is, let him, let him, let's go to Edie. Give it to Edie. Let's double team him. Dish it back out. Let him dish it back out, the three, and let him shoot it. 
15%. They can't shoot a three. Let them shoot it. And then we have to get the rebound. That's my that's my game plan. Let them shoot the three. You know, let them shoot it. Back at it. Here we go. We are back with a look at our game summary, and Tennessee is getting absolutely crushed on the glass. Out rebounded 39 to 21, but the Vols are hanging in there thanks to their transition game. Yeah, they have 10 fast break points, and that doesn't take into account the threes that they've yeah, got. Yeah, you're right, Reaper. Transition. If Ziegler was having so a good game. Tennessee has to push the ball up. How are they going to do that? They got to get stops. They got to get steals. They got to put the pressure on Purdue. That's what's going to allow them to continue to score. Purdue, on the other hand, can score in the half court because you got the big weapon in there in Zach Eady. Five years to the day is the last time we had a 1-2 matchup in the regional final. It was number two, Michigan State beating number one. So Tennessee's got 17 day. points on the and nine turnovers for Purdue. The one-two matchup in the regional final is living up to the hype. A one-point game with 7.45 to go. Matt Painter decides to go big with Kyle Here we go. Edie on Estrella. Edie Come on, baby. Oh. Yeah. 29 for Zach Edie. 56-53. Gonna be tough. Awaka has done the best job defensively on Edie. He's been sitting with out fouls. there. We'll see how long Rick Barnes Ziegler's back the out there. Connect. Out. He and throws it away. Meshack takes it. Meshack right gets it back. Dini. Over to connect for the tie. Yes, sir. Sorry. This guy can really shoot the ball. 31 for Dalton Connect. The eighth time this year he's hit for at least 30 in a game. Purdue ball trying to get back to Edie again. Let him, let him shoot the three. No double. Edie, tough shot there. Estrella he missed it. Estrella. Ball. Hanging in there defensively. He pushed him out. Instead of getting a five-footer, he ended up taking like a nine-foot fadeaway. Connect shoot two. Again. Not this oh. time. And the rebound is grabbed by Jones. 56 all. Great rebound there by Lance Jones as Connect was bearing down. Connect comes out. Purdue ball here. He's been held to just 6 16 to go. Last four and a half minutes. And it's been with Estrella in there. Here we go, Estrella. Here. Get him, baby. Edie with six on the shot clock. Spinning. Ah, he did a spin move scoring. in and out. So he got it in. Move. That's two moves in a row going to the, the other shoulder. Edie now with 31. His season high is 35. And Awaka is at the scorer's table. Barnes has seen enough with Estrella. He's done his job. Oh, that is the pressure in Estrella. He got a little lazy. He wasn't worried no. about Estrella. He should have been. That's why he got that. Six tie the game with five and a half to go. Let's go. Here we go. Estrella versus Edie again. Edie. Over Estrella, front of the lane. And missed. And it goes out of bounds to Tennessee. He's really overplaying that left shoulder, and he's pushing him out. Great move going the other way. See, if they're going to if they're gonna try and take that other shoulder, you got to go the other way. And a good job there, Estrella. Diving hard to the basket. Edie stayed too long to guard the dribbler. And he gives it up. <laughs> They're all fired up. How could you not be in this environment? Estrella just went to the bench and got a huge ovation from the Tennessee fans. Awaka is back in there with four fouls. Here we you go. Hurt Edie when you overplay that left shoulder. Tennessee ball, Mesha. Go back to connect. Connect. connect Shoots two. Comes Misses short. short. And Edie fumbled the rebound. A scramble for it. Edie's got it. And we have a tie-up. The possession arrow this time favors Tennessee. This is the first time since 1990 that players on opposite teams have had a player go for at least 30 in an Elite Eight game or later. 
What a showdown here between Edie and Connect. We're seeing two of the great performances in the history of this tournament. There have been a lot of them, there's no doubt, but these are two great ones. Here we go. Ziegler. Ziegler is back out there. For Waka's Tennessee. back out there as Connect well. Three fouls for him. Braden Smith is right on him. Connect now, three. Connect for three. Oh. And the rebound. A foul is committed. I think that's a Waka. I think that's going to be his fifth. It is. So Tobe Awaka has fouled out of the game with 4.42 to go. I don't know. Is Rick Barnes going to Adu or Estrella? He's going to Estrella. I know Estrella. He's handled him. Estrella's made a miss. I mean, yes, that's a foul. <laughs> Awaka had his left arm. It's a foul. And it sends Edie to the free throw line at the other end of the. And floor. he hasn't hit his free throws, so. Purdue at the line today, 63%. And Edie is 7 out of 10. A one and one for Zach Edie. And he makes it. 59-58, 442 to go. points and 16 rebounds. Five of the 16 boards on the offensive end. As you see, the foul trouble for Tennessee. My guess is they're going to... Just keep it clean, y'all. You can you can trash talk as much as you want. Just keep it clean. Effective, especially with him curling. In and out. Walk, missed his second one. Free throws have not been good for Purdue. And Rick Barnes will call timeout. With 4.36 on the clock, each team has two timeouts remaining. Coming down the stretch in Detroit. All right, 59.58, almost 1,000. Oh, we're over 1,000 now. Thank you guys for tuning in here to On The Go with CeeLo. We've been doing UT basketball for instance, the Maui Classic. Matter of fact, we did the Tennessee-Purdue game back in Maui, so... Here we are, round two. Who's going to win? The winner goes to the Final Four. Both teams never been to the Final Four before. Someone's going to make history here today, and this game is going to go down to the last possession. So keep hitting that like button. Keep on hitting that subscribe, and show us your appreciation. Here we go. What is at stake today? Oh, so much. Tennessee has never been to a Final Four. Oh, I'm sorry. The Purdue has been to two Final Fours. My bad. Making it. And Purdue Purdue's made two. My, my bad there on that. Coming 44 years ago. I think that speaks to how hard it is. You look at these two programs. They've been good programs. Yeah, sorry about long, that, Paul. My bad, too. To <laughs> Tennessee has not. Rick Barnes went once when he was the coach of Texas back in 2003. Let's see. If Thank you for the subscribe. Down. Here we go. Connect. Jones defending Connect. Connect uses the screen. Sends it Back out. out. Triple J. James Shoot two. Up. In and out. And rebound to Gillis. Four twelve to go. Anybody's game here. This is the matchup we talked about with Evan Washburn before the game. Ziegler on Braden Smith. Smith uses the screen. Smith was open and now bounces it into Estrella Edie. on Edie. Edie and a foul is called against James. You know, now Rick Barnes changing his strategy a little bit. They haven't made threes, so let's double them a little bit. We're coming right down to the end. One point lead for the Boilermakers. All right, 59, 58, 3, 56 to go. Hope everybody's doing well here. <clears throat> like I said, y'all, trash talk as much as you want. Just keep it clean. Be respectful with the people that are in the chat. We have over 1,022 in the chat here. So enjoy the game and have fun, y'all. 59, 58, 3, 56 to go. Somebody's going to the final four. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mods, I'll let you uh, use your discretion on what's up. 
I'm like, I can't pay attention to all that. So it's going to be on y'all, but, uh, y'all have fun and let's go. Let's have a good time. Edie, 32 points, 16 rebounds. He had 19 rebounds last time against us. 19 connect 31 points. He's got three rebounds, but he's six for 10 from the three point line, six for 10 from the three point line. Everybody else, nothing. A dude, zero points. Zero points for a dude. He's been on the bench the whole entire time. Estrella's done a lot, a lot better than a dude or a Waka against Edie. He's at least caused him to miss a couple. He's shown that he is human. So keep the kid out there. Let him do his thing. He's gonna learn. Great, great learning experience for this guy. You know, it's gonna work out wonders next year for this kid when he's playing. Uh, what's what's happened here? Don't need to breathe the Edie goodness. I, I mean, he's a good player. You gotta say that. You know. He's tall. They have to climb a ladder to foul him. That's right. Let's hit that like. We're trying to get to 200 likes. 200 likes. Let's see if we can get to 10,850 on the subscribes. Your audio is coming back here in 10 seconds. As the TV timeout is over. And let's see what happens with 356 to go. Coverage of the NCAA men's Thank you for that subscribe, y'all. Appreciate it. Thank Geico. you so much. Whatever you need, Random stuff. More with nice. Direct TV. Stream Direct TV satellite free. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And by Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. Back in Detroit and half of the final four. That AJ? Set, UConn and Alabama. AJ's in here. Night, and we're moments What's up, away AJ? From finding out if Purdue or Tennessee will join them. Courtside with Steve Lapis. I'm Andrew Catalan. Evan Washburn with us as well. And this is everything we were hoping for today. Yeah, I mean, tremendous mm -hmm. intensity. There's so much on the line in this game. And these both these teams are very hard-playing teams normally. Let alone with a yeah, they're not looking too good, are they, Kelly? All right, if you were in Rick Barnes's huddle, what would you be telling your team? You got to be talking about we're, what you're going to do, because they're throwing to him every possession. I think they got a double. Purdue's only made two threes in this game. The lowest, they, the lowest number of threes they've made in the game this year before today is three. Maybe it's time to not worry as much about the three-point line and go get Edie to make Purdue do something else. On the other end, how is Tennessee going to score? How was I court? saying that just they a little bit ago? Connect off screens. That's been their best offense in the half court. Let's check in with Evan. 60-58. Hey, that's exactly what Matt Painter was focused on in that last settle. How they're going to defend Dalton Connect. Obviously, you got Jones has had that matchup a lot of this game. The other message that he kept echoing was defensive rebounding next play and make them earn he hit everything. hit both. Lead is three. Yeah, you got to. I mean, what, they are a great defensive rebounding team. We talked earlier about Zach Eady taking pride and not getting tired. He's only rested 33 seconds today. Three seconds for this kid. Connect, Connect shoots up. Separation and he's fouled. And he gets fouled. Thought he was going to knock that one down. Foul on Lawyer. Foul. Lawyer's Fletcher, lawyer. third foul. It'll be two shots for Dalton Connect. I didn't see a whole lot of contact there. Sounds like the Purdue fans agree with you. A Connect gets it to go from the line. 32 points for Connect. Awesome, Cobra Kai. Awesome. Welcome in. Sixty-one, sixty. It'll be Lawyer to inbound. Zach Here we go. has scored the last 12 points for Purdue. Tennessee picking up the pressure a little bit. 336 to go. Matched up with Edie. Ziegler trying to get there. Three and a half to play. Smith. Estrella was there. Oh, Estrella went for the block. Edie. And Edie so was right he there. 63-60. Just throw it up. Come on, Ziggler. You time to come alive right here, Zig. Six assists for Smith today. Connect for three. That's too strong. And Gillis is there for the rebound. 
Connect misses the three. Thanks for the subscribe. Seven rebounds, three assists. They better get Zach down low. Thank you for that subscribe, Angela. Three. And it hits. Just when I said, don't worry about it. 66 60, 235 to go. Connect. And a foul is called. That's going to go on Lance Jones. Jones has seven points all here in the second half. Well, that's only their third made three of the game that Jones had there. They just threw it up to Edie. And then Lance Jones with the three. Ziegler comes a little late. And down the other end, Dalton Connect was fouled, but it's only produced fifth foul. So they only can take it out of bounds. They got one more to play with. That's the two dagger, he says. We'll see this guy. Strella, the connect three. And, and he misses. Three. And Lawyer with the weak side rebound. That was it right there. They should play the clock a little bit and get it in I, I i don't have to say it i think the whole world knows where this ball is going tennessee just two points in the last three and a half minutes lawyer wide open misses the three but right let him shoot the three they're not going to hit it every time i want to kill a few seconds Whoa. i don't know what happened there i think he just fell lawyer down the it, it in minute 51 seconds and him. i don't know Smith, if 80. 80. And a foul. I don't know if they're going to look at that. I don't think it was anything. I mean, it's a foul. Oh, whatever. Ziggler got knocked down by Edie like that as well. No call, but whatever. James commits his fourth, and Edie is right back at the free throw line. Yeah, they can't look at that and come back with a foul. They can look at it and see if it's a flagrant. Obviously, they didn't decide that. 71% from the free throw this year for Edie. He's not done well this year, this, this game. What a weapon in a close game, Andrew. Nothing beats, I know when I coach, having a big guy that can score, that you can throw the ball to when things are in doubt. They have a better idea of what they want to do than Tennessee does, only because Tennessee doesn't have that. Continues to break records and he has drawn 13 fouls today. If he makes this free throw, he'll tie a career high. 38 for Zach Eady and firing up the crowd. There we go. Got to get it here. We get some two points or something. Down by eight. Open. And they're switching aggressively on him. The defense for Purdue really good. Ziegler breaks free and scores. And Rick Barnes calls timeout with 128 to go. That stops a 7-0 Purdue run. I the two th missed three shots by Connect really killed us. I think we should have gone to the line. I think we should have gone to the move, but Ziegler gets it in 68-62, a minute 28 seconds left to go here in this game. My gosh. Might be too late. We'll see. Anything can happen here. We've done a 6-0 run just like that. So, TB Tennessee timeout here. And we're going right back to it here right now. Purdue and Tennessee battling for a spot in the Final Four. And coming up at 5-10 Eastern time here on CBS, it'll be Duke against NC State for the final spot in Arizona. Tennessee has one of the best full court presses in the country. Keep hitting that They're like button or trying to get the 250 on the guys. legs. They don't have to foul. Once Purdue breaks the press, solid defense and get a rebound. We lost by four the first time. Tennessee Thank you for getting us to 18, 10,850. We're 150 away from 11K. And Purdue also has one foul to give, so they can be very aggressive going for steals. Maybe the ref doesn't see it. You smack somebody, and you get a steal. Here we go. Oh, a bad place to throw the ball. Full court pressure. Got it. 
And a foul is called right in front of the Tennessee bench. I mean, foul on Estrella. A Purdue threw it to their smallest guy in the deep corner. They were able to get away with it. Foul on Estrella. Purdue's going to go to the line again. Edie again. Zach Edie's at the free throw line. We've said that. <laughs> 16 times today. Estrella was calling for a travel. He shot 17 against them in Maui, right? He did. And it was Thanks for the subscribe shooting guard. Appreciate you. Job here. Mm. For 16, but he, and he missed it. One. And Ganey's going to come back in for Estrella. Now they're going with their best offensive team. Five. You know, Dalton Connect is the biggest guy they have in the game now, and he's a 3-2. Edie's played every minute of this game except 33 seconds. One and hits it. 69-62, lead is seven. A minute 24 to go. Edie's guarding Mayshack. He's not connect. a really good score. That's smart move by Matt Back to Mayshack, back to connect. Connect, connect to the basket. To Good. 69-64. Connect's got 35. 57 seconds left in this game. Lawyer with 10. Feeds Edie. Edie versus Mayshack. Double team him. Oh, and a foul. Shot, a foul on the floor. I mean, Meshack, Jemai Meshack was on Edie. He's about 6'5". Well, Rick Barnes told us yesterday that LaMarcus Aldridge always told him he hated when smaller guys were on him, and he thought he could maybe throw a Meshack in there, and he, he had to here. I think he did it more because he wants the better offensive yes. team on the other end. Edie with the free throw. Oh, Misses. Okay. Three point line down there gets us within. If he misses this, Tennessee has to score quick. As we told you, Edie has only sat for 33 seconds today. Misses the first. Second, this is the he missed both of them. Ball. Wow. Hmm. All right. Matt Perdue, uh, Matt we need a three right here. Two or two, whatever. See if he, <clears throat> we definitely need a three. A rest right here. He just yelled at Braden Smith. This is it right here. As you see the foul trouble for Tennessee. There we go. Ziggler. Mayshack, but Mayshack's not a good shooter. He needs to Back to connect. Game. Almost lost it. Guys get drives. Connect to, to, get the to the basket. basket again. And Edie blocked it. it That's it. That's it. What a play by Edie. You have to foul right away. Not fouling yet, and now Mayshack gives it with 21 seconds to go. You know, I just said Edie should not be guarding Mayshack. He's not a good shooter. He's got to be in the lane because Tennessee had driven it. That time he was in the lane, Connect drives it, and he makes the key block of the game. Mayshack is fouled out as Edie's mom, Julia, watches on. It'll be Fletcher Lawyer getting two free throws. What's up, Nathan? What's up? What's up, Nicholas? It's going to be tough. Real tough. Would make it a he is good. Game. Lead is... Seven. And these guys just 20 seconds to go. Crap. Connect all the way for two, and Rick Barnes will call his final timeout. 71-66. A five-point Purdue advantage. Man, oh, man. 59 seconds in this timeout, y'all. We'll be back here in a second. But pretty much the dagger there on that block shot by Edie to connect. I don't know. It's going to be tough, but uh, I don't see it happening. But uh, what a game. What a game, y'all. Almost hit over 1,500 in here. It topped out over 1,500. We've never had 1,500 ever in a chat. So a record day on subscribers and likes and all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much. Keep on going. See if we get the 250 on the likes. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, Connect's going to the NBA.
definitely NBA for sure. For sure. For sure. Uh, we'll see what happens here. 45 subs to 11K. Oh, 145. 145. But I wish, I wish it was 45. But let's see if we can get it, y'all. Let's see if we can get it. <clears throat> so close. <laughs> Everybody's filing out of here now. They're like, oh, this is over. Up by five, and yesterday we sat with Zach Eady, Fletcher Lawyer, and Braden Smith and asked them to put in perspective what a win today would mean. <laughs> they and all three players yeah, on camera. said, we want to win He's still on for camera. Matt Painter. He has been scrutinized so much throughout his Dixon career. Dixon Way, congrats it's on the great tough. stream, Toll. Thanks, Dixon Way, man. Go make sure you check out my man, March. Dixon Way. And they said that... Does Braves, Hawks, everything. We stick with ATL we Sports. For paint. He's just like a... He is Georgia's too, yeah. On the precipice lap. Oh Nothing needs more for a coach than that. They got to make sure now... The guy you don't want to get this ball to is Zach Eady. You got you to gotta get this ball in. They got three 80-plus free throw shooters out there. Gillis, Smith, 15 and seconds to go here. Inbound, It'll be Purdue. Inbound. To Eady, and there's there you go, they foul Edy. So Edy will go to the line. He has scored 17 points in the last 14.8 seconds to go. Action. Not the ideal guy to get the ball in with all those good free yep. throw shooters out there. Robbins. Thanks for subscribe, Regan Elizabeth. Thank you. You're welcome, Ann. You're welcome. All right, Edie, we need to miss right here. 39 high. points going to make it 40 right here. For Edie. And now 40. The fourth Ooh. time a Boilermaker has scored 40 in a tournament game. Glenn Robinson once, Carson Edwards twice. You know how hard it is to make a free throw after you shot an air ball? It's pretty hard. <laughs> Thank you, Zach, for subscribing. No, one out of two. 72, 14 66. seconds. 10 seconds left. Connect. Ziegler puts up a three. No good. Lawyer the rebound. GG Purdue. Lawyer will dribble it out. And the next stop on the Purdue Redemption Tour is the final four. First time in 44 years that Purdue is going to the final four. Thank you so much, Austin, Audrey. It was a great game. Privilege to call it. That's all right, y'all. How it goes. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. How did you guys hold off Tennessee to advance to the Final Four? Well, obviously, we, we wanted to isolate Zach and get him down there. We missed a lot of threes that we normally make. We missed a lot of free throws. We stayed with it. You know, Tennessee's a tough bunch. Great coach. Um, we're just proud of our guys, man. Proud of our guys to be able to pull through in a tough game. With the way last year ended, what does it say about this team that they could overcome that and get this group to a final four? Well, it sure helped when Zach came back, right? So all these guys have played so hard and, and worked on their game and put a lot of time into it. And we had to sit I'm in I'm going Duke. You know, we, we had to take it. Like sometimes when you sit in it and you're honest with yourself and you take it, some great things can happen. Congratulations. Enjoy it. All right. Thank you. We update the bracket and Purdue in the final four for the first time since 1980. They will take on either Duke or NC State. That game coming up next on CBS. For Steve Lapis, Evan Washburn, Gene Steratore, our entire crew, I'm Andrew Catalan. Saying so Thank you for the subscribe. Detroit, Appreciate you. Purdue Thank you so much. D thing, we should have won, but they called everything on Tennessee. Man, oh, man. That's crazy. So, that ends Tennessee's season. We started this in the Maui Classic, and we uh, we uh, follow them all season long. Missed both Kentucky teams, both Kentucky games and the Texas game. We've watched everything else. Oh, I'm sorry about that. We, we missed the first four games of the season, which were kind of like 
you know, nothing really. But uh, man, oh man, you're welcome, Venice. Appreciate everybody. Th you're welcome, Paul. Butterfly, thank you for modding. Triton, you as well. Thanks for helping us out. Um, we'll see what happens this next game. It should be fun. Uh, Tennessee. Man, so close. Uh, but yeah, it's it's hard to... Uh, whoever's going to face Purdue like they've done all season is going to be tough. I mean, they've lost four times, so they show they're vulnerable, right? So, uh, But what a game, y'all. What a game. So, uh, a dude, probably the lowest ga game he's had all season, uh, in foul trouble early. He was in foul trouble when we played him in Maui. Um, uh, he didn't foul out this time, but, uh, did foul out a Waka. Meshack fell out as well. Uh, but let's take a look at the, uh, stats here real quick, and then we're going to call it a day. And I got to get ready to see about this other. Uh, we're having a race tonight, y'all. If you want to join us for that, uh, we're going to the Toyota 400 owners 400 from Richmond uh, should be fun as well. So let's take a look really quick at the stats. I'm not going to read them all. You guys can see them as well. But free throw percentage, both is 63%. Uh, Purdue wins the game three for 15 from the three point line, 20%. They didn't need to because look at the points in the paint here. 40 points in the paint, 40. Points in the paint. They didn't do anything with our turnovers. Although they did. I'm sorry. Seven total turnovers for Tennessee. They had 20 points off of turnovers. Thanks for the subscribe. Uh, Tennessee had... Purdue had 10, and Tennessee only had seven turnovers. So there's your difference in the game. Everything else is pretty much the same. Points in the paint. Could not stop Edie down for low. He's just too good. Uh, all the points in the paint came from Edie. Not many layups at all. Uh, but whoever plays Purdue in this final in the final four in the championship, they're going to have to be ready uh, to figure. I, I I would just let them try to shoot threes, and they're going to miss them because they're not that good. But there it is. Largest lead was eleven and eight for Purdue. Box scores real quick. Tennessee thirty seven points for Dalton Connect. Man, hate to see him go, but he's going to do well in the NBA. Uh, good to see Dalton Connect go out with a bang there. 14 for 31, 6 for 12 from the three-point line, 3 for 4 from the three-point free throws. But uh, this guy can't do it all. This guy can't do it all. You know, this guy cannot do it all. Uh, Jordan James tried. He had started out pretty early, kind of cold in the second half. Meshack, not really that much, two points. Ziegler had nine. Uh, uh, Ziegler didn't show up. I mean, he was good passing the rock, rebounds. He had eight assists at least, but the points, you know. Off the bench, Estrella, he learned a lot tonight. Estrella learned a lot. He's going to be amazing next year. Uh, he learned a lot today facing Ida and Edie. He shut him down for a little bit, so it could have been even worse. But uh, Ganey, a couple of good big three throws there. A walk of fouled out as well. Uh, over on Pro the Purdue side, it's pretty simple. Give it to Edie, 40 points. 13 for 21 from the field, so he's not perfect. And look at these free throws, 14 for 22. 22 shots, he made 14 of them. Uh, shows you, drawing the fouls to this guy. Now, did the refs call it? I don't know. I don't want to even get into that. But uh, coming up later, Duke and uh, Duke. And NC State coming up. But this ends our uh, basketball for Tennessee. We'll see what happens in the Final Four. Thank you guys, everybody that followed me through the year for Tennessee basketball. We'll see what happens for the Final Four next year, for this year. But I will do the championship game no matter what. I'm not sure about the Final Four game uh, based on times and what the NASCAR is that day. But we'll see. Uh, last year, we, just, we did a whole big stream for Final Four. Uh, just left it on the whole entire time instead of switching streams. So we might do that, but we'll see what happens. I'll let you know. Make sure your notification bells are on for everybody that subscribed. And um, that is it. Let's go back to the oh, wrong one. <laughs> There's one. Here we go. So uh, let me thank all of our new subscribers today. MFT Strife Legit Dawned Do NEDA. 205, Chris Clark, Regan Elizabeth, Rowboat, 
shooting guard, Angela, random stuff, Lloyd, Gene, Patrick, Lauren, Jim and Donna Hicks, Steve Garver, awesome, 012353, fantastic Franklin. Let's listen in really quick here. Let's plus listen. 10 makes and also, well, actually plus 14 makes, plus 22 attempts from the line. And the score, nearly identical. That one yep. was a 71-67. Exactly, today. a lot of 70, similarities. 72 to 66. Uh, coming up next here on CBS, oh, number We missed 11. most of it, but pretty much the same score from the Maui Classic. Uh, let's see, fantastic. Uh, Franklin, uh, Xander League, Dave G, Mike Masters, GTC 2022, Cecil Hopkins, and all of the private subscribers today, we appreciate you. Um, I want to thank my old lovely wife, Spain. She had a birthday yesterday. She had a really good time, and she really liked everybody that said happy birthday in the last yesterday's streams. Uh, I love you and uh, everything you do for us while I'm out here streaming with you guys. I want to thank my mods for dealing with 1,500 people in the chat and keeping it. Ron, thank you so much for that. Uh, I think my mods who 1,500 is not easy to keep up with, y'all. When it's When the chat's moving like crazy, it's not easy to, to keep up with making sure everybody's behaving. So I got the best mods in the business. They're, uh, they're fun. Uh, we don't really have to deal with Riff Raff, but when we do, uh, they take care of it. I want to thank my members. I want to thank you guys for always uh, giving your money, hard-earned money back to the channel. We do appreciate you. And I want to thank you guys who just found me today or have been watching me for this whole season. I want to thank you guys. Um, huh. What a run. So we'll see how it goes. Basketball's not over. I'm not going to be doing the next game. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to be talking all night with hot, with uh, NASCAR. So uh, enjoy the rest of the second game, y'all. I hope Duke wins. Uh, always had a favorite with Duke on the side there. But NC State's hot, too, as well. So we'll see. A good ACC matchup. So other than that, my name is CeeLo. On the go with CeeLo is the channel. If you're finding this after the stream is over, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for NCAA coverage. And all Tennessee sports. We're going to be doing a bunch of Tennessee stuff. So until then, thank you guys. What a hell of a year, Tennessee. Almost. Almost. All right, y'all. We'll go get them next year. Let me get my pom-pom this time. We're going to finish it right this time. We're going to go. Go. Oh.